the stream has begun. Let's go live to my channel. This alert source is offline, as it tends to be. All right, I will fix that another time. All right, time to share the streaming info. out to the people let everybody know that we are good we are out there and get people in welcome in everybody as always just gotta let the world know that we're doing this get going we can start playing see what's new and exciting in the game let's see how everyone else is doing all right Everything but the tweet. That was the last one. And my tweet has been sent. All right. We are out there in the world, connecting back up with the chat. And we good, all right. Excellent, excellent. Welcome on in. Hopefully the sound is going okay. We'll post up the stream, get that going. as we start going on with this. Excellent, all right. Where am I? There I am, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, it's the chest of disappointment, my favorite. Thank goodness. <laughs> so excited for the chest of disappointment. So while we wait for all y'all to come in, just get my missions done, do the all the small things, then we can start playing around. Put these all back up. interesting day back in WWE Champions new showdown mode all sorts of fun stuff going on gonna be an exciting night maybe <laughs> as we I guess continue to talk boss battle stuff do some tours get all this nonsense out of the way sort of see where we land from there HBK how's it going hope you're doing well put all these in why is my chat screwed up always 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 wonder if it would since we have not many people here let's see if an actual recording will work will it allow me to record 
Well, it seems to be working right now. Hopefully it stays working. And then I'm going to stop the recording. Hopefully the sound didn't go away and everything still works. That's what we want to check out and work with. Okay. Lots of users with that. Excellent. All right. So, might as well mess around and do the smaller things. See what we get. That's my lucky four times day. If I do get my weekly, that's nice. My weekly 50k. Excellent. Let's open up the chest of disappointment. I don't think I actually have... Might be one or two people I don't have. So I don't have Trish. And I don't have the Apex Predator. But I got everybody else in here. I'm sad that when they decided to finally update this, all they did was put in Brawn Breaker. And nothing else with it. And speaking of which, that's the poster I get. Wonderful. What are you? Oh, you're a historic token. Oh, you're just a visual glitch. I was about to say that you look like a trophy that I once received that sits in here and doesn't mean anything. I wonder why that became a thing. I wonder why they thought we would all want these trophies and what we would do with them. So... Not sure. <laughs> just just a little bit of uh, redemption, but actually, uh, you're the first one to, to talk in the chat so far, so not really tardy. I think everyone's, you know, having that weekend hangover, uh, but I'm sure more, more will join in uh, shortly. So as Merrick's stream goes, usually that's where people head to on a Monday night, so it's usually a little bit slower in, uh, in getting the viewers over, but glad you're here. How's, how's the day? How's the, the Champions game treating you at the moment? Oh, you didn't want to be the first to speak up? I thought I saw you in there. <laughs> HBK, I, th I thought I saw your name on the list of people here. <laughs> I, I appreciate how you're like, I'm not going to be the first person to talk. Um, it's, it's so funny how that's actually like my classrooms, where students are just like, I can't be the first person to talk, right? And then once that one person um, starts talking, then everyone else is, can just sort of be like, okay, it's cool to talk. Uh, Jimmy in the corner over there <laughs> sort of spoke, so <laughs> I find that actually pretty funny, so nice, nice, nice. Um, you're just finishing up the tours? Oh, nice. Um, as usual, I don't actually get to, to do very much. Uh, you made it? Awesome. I haven't taken uh, the roll call yet. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Um, so yeah, the uh, I never get really a chance to do much until I get on stream, and I also like to save it for the stream, especially if, if somebody has trouble or if they have something that they want to sort of go through, then it gives me a chance to, to do it. The only match that I did, I took a quick look and I saw that this was basically, this hard one was basically anybody, uh, so I decided to just go go ahead and get rid of it, so that way I can do the, the hell mode if anybody wanted to actually see how we could beat this. Who do I have to beat this with? This was, oh, it's the Miz. Oh gosh, that's going to take forever. <laughs> that's gonna take for freaking ever uh, I'm, I'm doing good today's uh, today's actual class like the one that I actually teach in person uh, went went really good uh, my students are very bright and they are doing um, uh, they're, they're, they're having a good a good time of it they're learning a lot of stuff so it's really cool to watch their minds opening up and really starting to get what's out there right you're not having a good day oh i'm sorry to hear that what's what's happening what's making it a bad day um yeah hbk digging the new showdown uh, i wanted to sort of look into it tonight and sort of see what what we think because right now i'm in 27th thousandth place because uh, i haven't actually sat down and done anything so yeah this could be uh this could be fun so from the small amount of information that I gathered. Um, uh, oh, you're not digging the new showdown. Okay, sorry. So you had a good day. You're not digging the new showdown. 
HBK's digging it. Um, I think a lot of what it's going to be is, I don't know, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen sort of the problem with it yet, so that's where I'm sort of like, need to go play it first, I guess, and sort of see what, um, what's what with it. Um, but I can get all behind 200 at a time, um, you know, larger star frags. Uh, I have all of these, so um, none of that matters. I could definitely use myself a Trick Hogan, um, considering I only have one. So that's a good little pickup to get some shards there. Although, I am still 1,500 shards away, so 25 at a time, not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's still hella far away. <laughs> so not not exactly going to burn the house down with it. Uh, it is class based. So, yeah, so the resetting every week is pretty cool. So you don't have to like once if you get to the very top, then you're not at the top forever. So I think that's pretty cool. If I'm understanding that correctly from what I read on the blog, um, and when you say class based, you mean like like powerhouses? Am I only allowed to use power? I'm only allowed to use powerhouses. Okay. So this is going to force us to like really choose <laughs> in a in a much different way than uh, than we've had before, right? Like you're going to actually have to have six star guys for each class, right? Like you're going to have one or two. Um, and tech is the defense. So we're at a class disadvantage if tech is the defense. Um interesting. I would that would be interesting if they did it every different class, every different day. Hey, hey, what's happening, Wally? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, and for everybody that's actually made it here at the very beginning uh, and uh, is doing pretty pretty good, I wanted to let you know that... Uh, acknowledge me! You are acknowledged. <laughs> and thank you for coming on in. What's happening, ASG? Um, uh, yeah, I... I you know, I think one of the biggest problems is that we don't get a lot of transparency sometimes, so we don't actually know what they're thinking, what they're saying, what they're doing, and they don't give us a lot more than that, right? So that's that's what I, you know, I'm not always ecstatic about. But um, I have two six stars, um, so this would probably be my lineup in some fashion. I would probably throw two six stars in and. You have a raw link, and you just have a Mysterio link or a zombie link. So I don't think I have anybody high enough that's actually going to do anything for them. Okay, so that would be my offense in some fashion. Defense might be interesting. I actually have a lot of techs at, uh, at six star. You've already seen one of them. You saw this guy at, at, at six star with the, the plate. And now that we have uh, six stars in the challenge nodes... Um, I might bust out Ezekiel um, Wednesday again with the with the new uh, Hunter plate. Uh, so I I do if I can't win right away, um, and I think now being forced to because like like think of all like the really good showdown. Um, like this is a really good question, ASG. Because like think of all the really good showdown tag teams that give you real advantages most of them aren't the same um like they're not te not both technicians right so um pick the two that you like together and they tend to be different classes um so that is going to be interesting right like so yeah so hall of fame so what i would probably do is i'd probably actually run a double hall of fame um and so that way i would get that f plus four tag team link bonus um, so one or the other, maybe the two of them together. Um, I might put Snoop first. I'd have to go back and fiddle around with their uh, with their moves, put some other stuff on them. But having a plus four advantage is pretty good. Um, so that would probably be where I would start with my defensive lineup for this. Um, uh, while you said, sorry, I, I missed that uh, a second ago. Um, the class-based uh, ASG, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it makes it more difficult. We don't get all the links. Um, and, and Watley said, you're not a fan of the new one so far. Um, I think anything is better than what we just had. 
Like, just to be quite honest, right? Like, whatever we just had, this is better because I wasn't playing the other one, right? Like, I go in and I do one match a week so that I'd get my 3,000 coins or whatever it is, and or I'd do two matches if it meant that I had to get back over 5K notoriety, but, you know, like, I, I never did them. Like, ever. <laughs> never, ever did I actually really, like, go in and do them. So it was never really a thing for me, right? Yeah, the energy reset, I can, I can understand that, but, like, you know... Were you really like if even if you look at the leaderboard of like who's who's up here, who's been spending all of the the money to get all up here, right? Like a lot of these are people who spend a lot of money in the game in general, right? And they're gonna have much bigger they'll have a much bigger roster than I am. So I'm not gonna be anywhere near them in that sense, right? Like they're gonna be so much further ahead of me regardless. Um so I'm not really that concerned. And like, what's the uh, what's the rewards? Okay, so what are what what is a what is a realistic place you think that you might be able to finish on this leaderboard? Um, you know, like that's that's what I'm sort of like thinking, right? Like, I, I understand it's a money grab, but everything in the game is a money grab, right? So, I guess it's just a matter of like what. What do you want from it? Like, I don't think I will finish anywhere in the top 100, right? I might finish somewhere in this area, and I'm probably going to be somewhere down here in the 250 to 350, and that's me being, like, generous with myself. I might finish somewhere in here, right, the six or 700. I don't know where I would finish because that all depends on my ability to... And I think this makes it a little bit more challenging, right? You have to put up a, a viable defense that doesn't get attacked or lose easily. And you're going to have to win. You're going to have to create winning streaks. And if you're able to do those things, you'll get a decent amount, right? Um, yeah, so on the, on the weekend... So I guess that we can combine both of these questions together, Watley's and ASG's, right? So for the weekend... If I understand correctly, showdown coins, similar to how boss coins, are one of many point methods. So having a promoter, and if the promoter actually gets you those coins, and you can then use those coins to actually get the points for the weekend, then it becomes useful. But that's but again, we don't know how it's going to work on the weekend. So that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to say that it's going to be terrible, right? But again... Even for doing nothing, like even for doing, like honestly, I am at 56 notoriety. I'm getting 800 coins a week for literally doing nothing. Um, so if I do bounce up into the top thousand, then I'm going to get several thousand, right? So I'm like, I'm not quite sure what to think yet about it, but anything is better than what we had. I certainly wasn't doing six matches a day before. I'm not going to put any money into it. So if those who want to spend money to get more resources, that's what they do for every other event, right? And so, you know, I guess why should this be any different, right? I don't, I don't leaderboard in any other event. I don't leaderboard in Feud. I don't leaderboard in, in the previous showdowns. I don't leaderboard in Boss Battle. Um, I think the highest I've ever finished in any of these events has been in the top 300. And, like, that's for... Um, for everything so on an individual basis right so I have zero expectations that I'm going to be in the leaderboard of this anywhere that high and I think that's and so coming in I guess with that attitude allows us then to have a, a serious a more serious conversation of you know what do what do I expect from this okay so I have uh hey so I won one match okay so I, I hadn't even set my lineup they set it for me and so I lost one and two. So yeah, so I think you're, you're going to see a lot of KOs. Yeah, it's, and so that, I think that's the thing, right? So Johnny, you're right. Like 800 coins adds up. And so even if you just do the six you're supposed to do a day and you get somewhere in the top thousand, you're getting a couple thousand of these coins just on a weekly basis whenever it resets. And then it resets and you have a chance to try again, right? So um just have some fun with it. And and yeah, if, if you don't really care about the leaderboard, um, 
how quickly can you get the, well I guess let's look at it this way right so let's say you do like so how are we getting like uh, coins for each win because I haven't done this yet so I don't know like what coins and stuff look for let's let's go against an easy opponent and see what happens uh, we are getting coins okay so let's defeat an easy opponent <laughs> and see what we can do and then we'll go to the shop uh, ASG uh, and we'll see what we'll see what we can get for it uh, afterwards so I think I think that's what I, like a good way to, to start with it is to sort of say like okay like on a weekly basis how much are we going to get you know and I think that'll make a big difference to to how we feel about it again my, my stance has been like anything is better than what we just had right yeah um Besides Hollywood, has anyone seen anyone like good uh, in the shop so far? HBK, like anything better card wise, like, like a card that, that people are actually going to want to get, right? So, um, so my notoriety, oh, I should put a trainer on there. So my notoriety went up sixty one. I got fifty coins. Okay, um, I wasn't paying attention to that probably should have okay so if, if i am going to play with hbk which is probably what i'm going to do then i need to put on a promoter of which i have 50 percent because i wasn't really using powerhouses in showdown i never really brought him more than that my other ones are 90 the ones that i usually use okay so i'll get 50 percent more mutant foley that's pretty nice <laughs> you see and you saw mutant foley in there too wally nice I'll take a, a mutant foley. I don't have that. So, okay. So we got 50 for that one. I'm sure we get more as we go up the the rankings, right? Um, shoot, I didn't want to leave that. Let's go back. And you got the Hollywood Hogan shards. That one that was what was in mine as well, too. Um, does it say here? Okay, so it doesn't say because I'm in the unranked. But I'm, I'm assuming that the higher up you go, the more coins you're going to get per... So your goal is obviously to get into the 5,000 area. And so I just got 50 coins for one match. Um, 143. So three matches would get me 200 of this. Nine matches would get me 200 of this. Uh, 20 matches would get me, you know, just at this level. It's like just, just at the very bare minimum ASG, this is what I'm getting. If I stay in the under 200 or notoriety or whatever. So... Um, Hogan is 5,000, um, so 100 matches at that. Um, and the, the coins usually do go up with notoriety. You're right, HBK. So the higher up I go, the less number of matches it would take to get these 25 shards. Um, uh, HBK, uh, Watley, ASG, um, Johnny, anybody, um, how many coins did it take to purchase? Has anybody seen like the full-out card of anybody and how much it would take to purchase them? Um, because that would also give us a good sort of idea of, of how far, how much we would need. Um, let's mess around with this for a second while I'm thinking of it. I haven't tried, yeah, I'll, I'm, I might refresh the shop. I don't think I'll refresh the shop tonight, but I might do it on Wednesday stream when they start giving out points for for that stuff to do it. <laughs> 800 coins and you've done seven matches okay um i think i think i think that's fair right like you're not <coughs> excuse me we're, we're still we're at the beginning phases of this and i think what scopely has done consistently um consistently is make it difficult not difficult but drawn out the process so whatever um uh is that the mutant foley do I have mutant foley? I think I do have mutant foley. That is the one, the one that came from the bu the boiler room. Then that's that's the one. Okay, um, they they've drawn out the process with it, right? Foley was six hundred and sixty two k. Okay, well he's he's a good card, so that is I guess expected that it would be. I'm not sure. Maybe that's a little bit high, but maybe that's like. A month or two of saving coins it might be even less than that right it depends on how you grind it out and that's and i guess that brings me to your question then wadley is like how do we grind out energy and i don't think there's a way i think like it's 
it's paid to get more energy on a on a weekly basis in that sense i think so i'm not sure there's a way to do it yeah kind of like charlotte's gears in the shop right so we would get on average about 100k or so if you do all of the tours and all the or all the, the things um it'll come back but they are less than you know it, the odds of it showing up in your shop are X number for every time the shop resets itself. So if you don't have it at that time, then the, odd, the odds of it coming are are small, right? But they, it can, but it's just not, um, not very often, if that makes sense. I hardly use ye, but we'll just put a black move charge on you, and then we'll just see if anybody actually attacks me. And we'll go from there. I'm not, I'm not really that concerned, right? That's uh, actually we'll take it off of you. Yeah, save save for a while, especially if there's cards in there and um, you want to get those cards, right? We'll run that as defense. We'll see if anybody actually attacks me, and then we'll reassess from there. But this this isn't going away, right? This this is not going away. This is going to be here for a long ass time. So. I wouldn't really fret about it too much. Um, unless you're really like dire need of resources, like I would leave a lot of this, um, leave a lot of this alone. Um, you know, if you need the shards and grab the shards, but otherwise just try to do your best, beat some opponents and, you know, get, get yourself some good notoriety, see what we can purchase from it. Um, and then make it, I guess, make an assessment after that, you know, um, because as far as I know, the only way to get yourself more of these uh, energies is to actually purchase them. So if you have a large stash of uh, in-game cash, like I do, I don't know if you saw how much cash I had there, but that's all from Tapjoy at the moment. Yeah, so 149 will buy you one. So six of those is going to be, it's going to be what, almost 900 um, in-game cash for a complete six to do it all over again. So anybody you see that has the big notoriety right now, you can see how much they've spent, either in ten dollars um, or uh, or more at that point. Um, so uh, yeah, Johnny. Um, so we can talk boss battle some more. Um, I've been trying to rack my head about who else we can use, and I'm not sure I have much more than the list we've already created. Um, but I'm, I'm open to some suggestions and we can sort of go class by class again and sort of see what's out there. Um, the stream is really up to y'all though, what you, what you guys want to do or sort of see. So if you want to see me struggle through showdown, I'm, I'm willing to go play that kind of stuff. I'm willing to go through tours, um, what, whatever y'all want to talk about. So what do you guys want to talk about? Basically, um, we have lots of stuff going on in the game, so I'm, you know, I'm just interested. I'm really interested about the showdown because I want to see sort of where it all shakes out. So if you just do the minimum, right? So if you just do your six every day, you don't worry about getting. Uh, you want to see some showdown? Yeah, well, we can totally do some showdown um, in the meantime, and then um, if more come over and want to to do stuff, um, so I think that might be the what we can do with all of this with the with the crappy Barrett yeah I, I I saw Merrick's video as well um that that tour looked ridiculously easy uh, in that case so that's always exciting when that kind of stuff happens so yeah I, I'll definitely have to try it with the Barrett that I have but I bought the backstage pass so it came with a four star silver fuse mine was two star gold so um uh, boss has uh, low HP, so the finishers might be more viable than we thought. Ah, interesting, interesting, interesting. So if it's not a billion health, um, what is the thought? That we're going to have like half the amount of health that we did before, or is it more or less? Or what's, what are the rumblings that y'all are hearing about that? Five-star bronze, I don't even, five-star bronze, I don't even have to really worry about five-star bronze. Uh, we'll do that move set. We will do... He might not even be going off. We want uh, to generate more. 
back to working on Orton and Macho. Um, I actually stopped. I actually don't have Orton or Macho either, ASG. And I stopped um, in my tracks getting them because... I, you know, I I wasn't lead. I wasn't going to getting on the leaderboard. Um, if I had Orton or Macho, I'd probably get on the leaderboard more for stipulation tours. Um, but I wasn't really getting on them anyways. Um, with with Kevin Owens, and he was the one I'm using for stip tours right now. So it didn't really make sense for me to just keep pouring showdown coins. I figured eventually I would be able to spend my showdown coins on something good that they would revamp it, and they did, and I did. And so I ended up never getting them, and I still, to this day, have no desire to put any coins into them. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah, I'm not not quite sure what uh, a good Orton... Well, you know, that's actually really fair, because um, my best Orton is the... Uh, you, know you, you just made the list! Saxter! You are on the list. Welcome to class. Um, welcome on in. That's right. You just made the list. <laughs> so um, appreciate the follow. Appreciate uh, having you here. Um, feel free to ask any questions or any anything you want to, to see or talk about. Um, very open class. Uh, so um, here comes the raid. Sap Daddy, what's happening? Jay Higgy, you just made the list. Uh, awesome, welcome on in. Um, you'll be recruiting Icon Undertaker in the week. Finally, that is awesome. Sap Daddy, how did the how did the stream go? How you doing? Welcome on in. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for bringing everyone through. You just made the list. Mean Green, welcome. Thank you. You're you're on the class roll now. You are on the list. Appreciate the follow. And appreciate all of the Raiders for coming on in. Um, thanks for coming on in here. Uh, so, Saxer, you asked uh, if I could show the store and what my shop looks like. Um, so, mine is... Um, oh, you created your first uh, SDW Superstar. Oh, I'm excited to actually see that. I'm sorry I couldn't stay... Uh, longer today uh, on your stream and check stuff out. So, uh, y'all, if you haven't uh, checked out uh, Sap Daddy uh, and his wrestling league that he's putting together, um, you definitely have to do it. He also streams some really cool stuff with uh, with our WWE Champions game and stuff like that. Um, so, one hundred percent, click on his name and definitely uh, get o get over there, watch his cool his cool stuff and his cool stream. Um, for like 100% Sap Daddy's awesome so make sure you get over there and check it out and maybe one day I will get involved in the Sap Daddy wrestling and get one for myself um, so awesome awesome uh, big show Ayo how's it going oh I also wanted to make sure that um, you all know that everybody who came in with the raid welcome on in and you are acknowledged acknowledge me and so we can we can get to the fun stuff with it. So uh, my store, <laughs> my, my store is as was asked uh, a second ago. Um, nothing really big in my store. Um, what I found, I just got basically TP, some star fuses, um, these Hall of Fame tokens that they gave out like a million of uh, in January. So I have a ton of them. So I don't really need them, but I think for those that aren't in as high a faction as I am, that was able to. Uh, you know, be able to hoard them as we did. Um, that was uh, something that y'all can get. Um, and so I do have some shards here. I'm not sure I'll have enough coins. I only have 100 right now. Um, I don't have any posters, uh, as you can see. I do have some shards of Hollywood. Um, that's what I'm hoping to get eventually. So I'm 1,500 away from getting... Hollywood, so I realize it's a slow burn and a slow, slow, a slow climb, right? Yeah. So, so that's the that's the two things that we were kind of talking about, right? So it's going to be a a slow burn, and so it's going to take a while to get there. White Mango, what's happening, bro? Thank you so much for coming on in. Glad to see you. Um. Uh, so I wanted to like 
get this out there that like it's it's going to take some coins to get stuff off this board right so it's going to take you and so i just beat one two matches at the very lowest notoriety they were 50 coins each so you know this is uh 20 matches at 50 coins each you get the idea so it's going to be a it's going to be a lot <laughs> to to get these things off the wall but again the higher your notoriety over the week the more you're going to be able to um, get off of these sorts of prize walls and it, it is underwhelming right so sap you said you said it like very well right like it's it's underwhelming this and there there's for me there's not a lot in here that's got me like um excited to go out and do a ton of uh, matches but in reality i wasn't doing six of them on a week-to-week -week basis anyways um Boss level 15 was 77 million. Boss level 20 was around 30 million. So that was on the champ stream with Merrick's. Okay, so um, if Merrick's does come uh, come through, then um, we will ask him if he if he raids on uh, on over. That would be actually uh, pretty awesome. And I, I didn't mention that um, that yeah, Sap Daddy is uh, is a, a vet, um, and so is HBK. So both of y'all, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being awesome uh, game players uh, and vets. Um, if I don't say that, that kind of stuff uh, as well. So um, what I think is interesting about this is that like, if you do your six a day and they refresh, and if you're not going for the, um, for the leaderboard, and like I'm not going to spend enough money to actually compete with any of these people, right? All of these people are going to have way more than I am. Also a vet, Wadley? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you as well. So thank you for all the vets uh, in here for your service to our country. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to compete with any of these people here. So I'm not going to spend any of my in-game cash. I'm going to do what I usually do, which is get resources, do as much as I possibly can, and just sort of go from there, right? And that's, I think that's where we should go with it. Uh, Bill's Mafia, sometimes we're tardy. It's okay. Uh, no points taken off today uh, for, for that. Uh, Nurilka says, I feel like the league matchups were weird. I was having him go up against six stars. He has none. It's still a fairly low league. I think this is going to take a, a little bit, um, Nurilka, to, to shake out, right? So I think the first day of any week, you're going to see, because everyone's at the same notoriety to start, and so it's going to take a day for it to sort of like reset itself, and then we're going to start seeing people's notoriety um, come through if that makes sense, right? I think at that point, then he'll start seeing people in his uh, in his class that also uh, works well, right? So I think that's that's what we're going to sort of see. Um, yeah, so I, I I think like when when we're gonna when we're gonna look at it like right now, I'm I'm going up against five star bronzes in in my notoriety class, right? With two six star goals, and that's because it hasn't had a chance. You know, there's going to be bugs. <laughs> I hope it isn't a. F I think it is on a weekly basis a full reset ASG if I read that correctly. So we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. Um, but I, I think it's worth remembering, right? Like this is the f they're they're trying this out again, brand new with the same sort of idea of what a showdown should be. And after day one, you'll be. I think it's cumulative throughout the week. Right, so your goal is to get over five thousand by the end of the week, and then it's going to reset itself, uh, and then we start again. And you know, one, once the week goes on, you'll be put into a place where you belong, and so you'll go up against people with similar notorieties, right? And so sometimes you'll be able to fake it till you make it, sort of thing. And sometimes, you know, hope, and that's the one thing that they said that they're going to fix. And so I guess time will tell with that too, right? Um, where is my? I thought we have a good blow up place. Uh, when I played ranked in other games, you moved down a few tiers, but not to zero or two hundred. And that and that's fair, right? Like so, it's gonna. And I think that's that. This so this is where at the end of this week, this is where we need to go in and 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 let them know like this was good for for the the showdown, this wasn't good for the showdown. Um, and and so forth. I'm talking and getting like subbed and what is going on in here? This is the one thing they don't tell you about streaming, right? Is that you have to actually like pay attention to what you're doing and talk about all this kind of stuff, which is why when I'm teaching in my classes, I'm actually like only teaching 
and not chewing bubble gum. Um, <laughs> I try not to walk around the class either, right? Because like, I could die, <laughs> right, Sap? Like, <laughs> streaming is tough. Stre- streaming ain't no joke. Uh, it's an endurance event. Um, <laughs> so, got got to keep my wits. Got to keep my wits about me uh, with with all of this. So, never quite know what's going to happen. Um, I'm I'm confident it will get better because the game continually gets better um, in some fashion, but we have to make sure we voice our complaints to them when the time is, is right. So my notoriety just went up a hundred and whatever. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be fine. Right. I think like, as I said, right. I'm, I'm, if we, I think I said, I think I said this before you came in SAP and I sort of just mentioned it briefly a moment ago. That like if you take away the leaderboard and your expectations for the leaderboard, because, as I said, these people up here are going to be way, 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 way higher than I will ever be because they have much, they're willing to spend and they have much bigger rosters than I do. So what's realistic that, right? The, the matchmaking is better, right? And the, and the spenders are going to be at the top up here. So they're going to get the 30 and the 40,000 of these and that's what the spenders will do and I'm fine with that because they're spending and that's the way the game is going to work right but is it realistic for the rest of us to be somewhere in this 350 to 800 with a good size roster is it realistic for us to be in a thousand or 1500 um, so I think that's like yeah so the, put put the feedback in the forum right like I, I think ASG overall the game has gotten better which is why I'm still playing, right? Had the game continued to devolve, I wouldn't have have, have kept it going. She is uh, she is Sarek. If I, did I say that correctly? Thank you so much for the follow. You just made the list. So, um, I think the game is better than where we were, obviously a year ago or two two years ago. I think the addition of boss battle. I think the. Um, I think we just need to. Sort of take it take it for what it is, right? If so, if if you come in with a different mindset, and that's why I wanted to bring this up with the leaderboard, right? Like if you come way better than six years ago, my gosh, remember how slow it was six years ago? How long it took to get resources and things? It's way better, way, way, way better. You know, if you played, if you went back and played this game like it was six years ago, you'd never play it again, like ever play it again. Um. Um. Yeah, so like the prizes for the for the faction feuds have gone away. They, so they they no longer give uh, poster uh, posters for stuff, um, but they give tokens and other things, right? So you, it, I I think just the the gameplay and you know I agree with you that that has gone downhill. It's not the same for feuds, but they found that they could make more money if they didn't give the poster away to the top three factions or the top seven factions. So. Um, I think that's I think that's a big thing, right? So yeah, constructive criticism is is always better. I don't like this. What if you ever thought about doing something like this, right? This isn't working. How about something like that? Um, I, th- I think that's one of the things we have to remember, right? The negativity they will absolutely skip over HBK. You're 100 percent true uh, in saying that. And 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 Sap, you, you hit it on the head, right? Like in the end, you know, there. <laughs> I. I love uh, that I, I I didn't want to do this one. I don't want somebody who's going to hit me with a sub. We can take this one. This one will be easier. Um, one of my favorite movies growing up was Spaceballs. And for those of you that have seen Spaceballs, you understand what I'm talking about, where he, he turns, uh, Barf the dog turns to, to him and he says, I know we need the money. And he stops him and he says, you know, we're not just doing this for money, <laughs> right? Then he says, we're doing it for a sh- load of money. Um, and And that's, the model here, right? They're, they're doing this for money. This game makes money and people are going to spend. And so it's, it's a business and that's what businesses do. And it's, it's hard to be upset when they're providing entertainment um, that you can still compete at free, which you couldn't do for a very long time in this game. Um, I think that's just one of those things you, you sort of have to accept. And so if you come in with the mentality of they're, they're going to make their money, I'm going to play this game and have some fun with it. And 
you know what, if I feel like spending and trying to enhance my game, then I'm going to do it. If not, then I'm going to do my best with the resources that are provided that I can work with. And you'll get better and you can have some fun with it, right? But if you just stay in the negative, it's so easy to get lost in the negative in this game, um, for sure. Uh, just an observation, Naroka says, it feels like uh, it's better that, like, if my kids do the work, they can actually get some nice stuff at the store, yeah. We live in an instant gratification society, and as a professor of history, I can tell you that this is something that we've been um, complaining about since the early 1920s. <laughs> of the uh, the change in society to an instant gratification. Here it comes. The WWE Champion stream is in. What's happening, Merrix? Thank you so much for the, the stream. Star and CEO, you just made the list. Thank you so much. Bro, Eagles, what's happening? Got my peanut butter beside me. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Welcome in all the Raiders. Welcome in, Merrix. Hope it was... Uh, uh, a, a good stream. Hope everyone had a really good time. You just, made the list. you just made the list. Thank you so much for the for the follow. Awesome. Welcome on in, everybody. Um, uh, Ida Monty, thank you so much. I'm trying to I'm trying to s scroll back up and see who's who's all coming in and saying things before I lose the lose them to the to the list of things coming through. Merrix, Merrix, Merrix. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, coming on in. Ida, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, aim what's happening yo welcome on in <laughs> you've been holding it <laughs> that's that's really the thing right like i gotta get out of the stream and everyone you're like oh, thank you so much for being here and then in the back of your mind you're like i gotta go <laughs> everyone you don't really realize how bad we gotta get going um uh so naroka you said you, you max the war score for the first time in the 20-hour feud yeah not, and and so like it's it's possible for free to play players to to do more in this game than I think they've they've ever done. You took the trick, Andre, to six star. Awesome! I am super jealous. <laughs> the, the, we're talking about the, the the new Andre, or are you talking about like the older Andre? Was the new Andre trick? I've I've seriously lost my mind today doing all sorts of things. Uh, both. Oh, okay. Both both are okay. You've taken the both up there. Very nice. So we were. Uh, the new is a trickster. Okay, as well. Good. Okay. The new Andre is a striker. Is a stricker. <laughs> Eagles, you're trying. You're trying to. <laughs> you're trying to trick me with a stricker. A tricker and a stricker. Uh, so you, you took the interesting. You took the the trick Andre six star. I am very interested to see how that works. Merrick, uh, before you uh, head out, um, did you get confirmation of how much hit points this new boss is going to have? Uh, and, and how the, the boss is going to be that way. Um, and if you are coming from Merrick's stream, I'm sure you've talked a ton about all of the um, the boss battle stuff. But if, for those of you that don't know, I do have a YouTube channel of my own. Um, and the professor is in, and I believe this is my, uh, it's 500 million. Hey, Bill's Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. So that's going to be really good if we can, so that means we can actually do some uh, damage um, on the on the finisher awesome uh, so that would be one so that's the YouTube video I put up so y'all can click on and check it out later of my top four or five or six <laughs> as I d d talked about it you just made the list thank you Showtime so much for the follow I really appreciate that um, and for those that have not yet or seen or anything um, I do have my own discord that you are welcome to join for champions uh, talk for discussion. This is where you can get in contact with the professor uh, outside of class times. Uh, <laughs> rest with Jericho List, yeah. Um, so hopefully I'll see some of y'all there. Just don't be a jerk and come there wanting to, to talk about the game and we can uh, I can look over rosters, give you advice and all that other fun stuff. So, um, uh, so hey, Showtime, so... Um, you know what? I'm not really going up against any challenging opponents yet because it hasn't really shaken out anything. So I'm just actually running him the same way that I run him for stipulation tours, actually. So I'm just going um, the double traps with uh, with this right here. You just made the list, Doomsday. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate that. Uh, I do have a heroic titan plate on him. I got my Fury 2, so we're doing 100. 
Uh, it says 302 because that's the, the, the plate does. So I'm doing 102% more gem damage. Add the, the Titan on top of that. Um, nothing with, with, with the exception. Um, yes, Ida, it's a, it's a, it's a free app and, um, you can, uh, what's happening, Tiger King? Welcome on in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically like a, a chat app that, um, you can connect with uh, other people. So sometimes factions have them. I'm not sure if your faction uses the discord. Um, but, um, on there you could then connect um, and talk to myself or join others i know uh, merrick ha ha has his own uh, discord server as well that you could join into uh, which also has filled with a lot of really good people with a lot of knowledge and stuff so um awesome tiger king that's that's, that's pretty there you go see each, each time it gets a little bit better so just keep keep working at it and those are some good good evolves man so um yeah so i hope this um Showtime shows you the so it's, I'm just going purple up. I'm doing blast damage, extra blast gems. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of them, um, and then just any sort of gem damage or MP down, depending on who I'm going against. But again, I'm not going against anybody particularly difficult right now. Um, anyone really six star. So um, I'm interested to see if this sort of works the same. Um, as the last one so the the higher the notoriety of the person you're playing against will give you more notoriety in the end so i might as well hit the highest notoriety this time around so 20 percent on ridge what's happening mj um affiliation or gemmed so i guess what is your goal with ridge right so um see ridge, ridge is a tricky one that's a, that's a good question so um, we can uh, we can debate that in the chat and see what see what people think between the affiliation of twenty percent gem strap. Um, between those two, um, Ridge is going to need more gem damage always, and that's always going to help him be better at six star. So if your goal is taking him up to six star and using him on a consistent basis, then gem damage could be one. But it is his training ability that makes him really good, right? So it might be worth your while. Um, Mm. Depending on if, depending on if you have two people with which to use um, that on, right? So I think that's the other thing, right? And I, I think that's what that's what I'm trying to get to. Sap is like, who are you going to put it on more than one at a time, right? So he's going to go for for Cena, but like, who else are you going to put him on in that case, right? So, mm, that's that's going to be. Uh, he is six star for six star Cena, yeah. But like, are you gonna use it on on somebody else? I guess is the, is the better question after that. Uh, do I not have two trap gems sitting around? I do not. Uh, I will do that one. So Cena and Butch, really. So if you're bringing up Butch as well, right? That's where it's gonna be extra necessary, extra tasty is on that. So. Um, You just made the list. Harvalicious. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate that. Um, Powerhouse Beth or Powerhouse China? Ooh. Uh, Cena and Dom? Yeah. Um, Dom could be another one that you could throw it on there if you don't have um, other trainers for it. So, yeah. like the, If you're going to use it two at a time, I guess, is, is really the question, MJ. Um, then, yes. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn on that as well, too, because... If I'm only really going to be using them for uh, those things, yeah. And in, 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 in reality, I think HBK is right. Um, it's twenty. Well, at at uh, at six star, it'll be seventy five k. Um, but of the two, your other question, MJ, between Beth and China, I think it actually depends on who you have. Because I know Beth Phoenix um, is she PG era in the game. What era is she again? Because I know it's it's one of the rarer ones that there's not a lot of superstars. So if she's your only one. It might be worth taking her up at the same time. Um, that's, yeah. Oh, she's Ruthless Aggression. So there's not a lot of Ruthless Aggression females um, in the game. So if that's who you have, then maybe that's the better option. So, yeah. So I think that's another great point. So Har Harvalicious, you, you, you bring up a really good point of just how hard she can hit. You know, if once you get her up higher, and once, the higher up you get her... Um, 
uh, Beth Phoenix will hit really hard the higher up you get her, especially because she has that countdown reduction. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, move that also works. Um, so I think that's also something to consider. Yeah, this streaming thing is hard, Sap. I don't know. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm making, I'm making, uh, I'm making a uh, KO not look as amazing as KO should be. Because uh, <laughs> right now, uh, it's fine. It's we're we're, we're going to destroy it right now. But I mean, it's one of those like I'm trying to keep up with the chat, trying to figure out the best way. And this is what the benefit of having a four, a, a six star going up against non six stars. Um, but yeah, once once I finish this match and I've done all the showdown stuff, I just want to sort of get a sense of how high you can rise with your six. You know, how many coins you're going to get within the first day. Just sort of do it on stream. Just sort of see where everybody is with all of this, and then. Um, um, uh, how can down gems do damage? Um, for the most part, it, it, it is like that. So lo there are several uh, characters ASG that have that um, that damage move. So that would be that would be what it is, right? So yeah, okay. Does that make that make sense, MJ? Um, nothing nothing to do uh, about smarts. That's that's why you come. To, you come, that's why you come to see the professor, right? You come you come to class. To, to gain the knowledge. So I, I tell my students all the time, you know, like you're, you're here to learn. You're here to talk things through. And if you've, if you've sat through any of my streams, you know, that's usually what I'm doing as well too, is that I'm learning, uh, as we go, like last night's stream, um, that's, that's exactly it. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help. Um, I'm here to, to help with pass on my knowledge and, um, Last night, if you were here on stream with me, you saw what, what I did, right? Like, we, we sat down together as a class, and we went over who we thought were going to be the top four, five, or six in the in the boss battle, and, and I put that in my video. So if you haven't seen the video, it's up um, it's up now on YouTube on my channel. Um, so those are the, the ones that I think are going to be the best, and then I'm going to put together the bargain bin. So if you haven't seen my bargain bin videos, that one's going to be coming out. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning. It depends on how tired I am after we finish streaming and what time I finish streaming. Uh, so that'll determine whether I get that done tonight or um, have it ready for Wednesday morning, uh, Eastern time when I usually stream. Uh, when I usually wake up. So um, okay, so I've done my six matches. I didn't do any refreshes. I probably could have, but it's not sort of necessary. I am at notoriety I mean professional league one I have a notoriety somewhere between 750 and 849 um, didn't really try that hard so um, oh you had me in the background <laughs> while I'm doing housework hey you know what sometimes that's uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate that I'm that I'm on there right so whether it's whether you're you're listening whether I'm, I'm helping you fall asleep with the, the smooth jazz radio voice of the professor uh, at www.eeradio.com. Um, so I just, I, I, I appreciate that I at least, at least can help in some fashion. There's sometimes when, you know, so, something else is going on and I'm just there. Cool, man. Leaderboard, where am I? I am in 2000th place after day one. So as, as I said, right, if, if your expectations aren't high and you're not really willing to spend, then I'm not. And I assume that most of you are not, then you know, you're you're probably going to end up. Let's see, I've, I've got five hundred. If this goes for six days, I'll have three thousand coins. If I get better at it, I might get five or ten thousand. So I would say five to ten thousand showdown coins on a weekly basis seems about right. How does that sound? Just like in terms of where you're you're going to rise throughout the week. So I think like there's all these different leagues to get up to here. So. I want to assume that they had it in mind that with proper promoters and good winning streaks and not losing and all that stuff, that without spending, you can make it into the Legend League. I think that's an acceptable or a, a plausible place to be. Um, and so if you get up to here, you could probably get ten or 20,000 coins maybe a week. I'm interested to see how this works for the week. So before I, you know, think the sky is falling or everything's terrible, I, I wanted to sort of see how many coins I'm going to get on a weekly basis. Is it possible to get to the top without paying anything? And how does all of this work? So 
every how many hours? Four hours? We're getting one more. So if you go on every four hours, do you get to play again or does it or that's when the reset is? Just right of the numbers. Um, you can have the characters and you have them not lose. Yeah, I, I think you still have to you still have to have the characters that aren't gonna lose. That's really true. Uh, run the numbers. I wish I could run the numbers, right, Eagles? Um, if I could run the numbers because I, I just don't know how much we're getting for each of these um, classes, right? So, like, how much do you get a win in the professional league? How much do you get coins-wise per win here? How much do you get here? Um, there's, there's still a lot that hasn't really shaken out yet, right? So, uh, just not a fan of it, the requirements. So, yeah, uh, every four hours you can play again. All right, thanks, Naroka. Um, so, if you're eager enough to to do it like but you know if you play it at night you wake up the next morning three or four are ready you go to work you come home three or four more are ready you know every time you go on you play your three or four matches and you'll you'll climb the leaderboard if you have a strong enough defense you should be able to keep a win streak going um so i, I don't think it's as as bad as it looks so far and i think i think even more important um i'm gonna play it and I wasn't doing that with the last version of this, so it actually wasn't really doable before. Um, it was boring, and Showdown stunk, and it was all about could you lose fast enough and other people lose to you as well. Um, it became a game of charity losses, um, and where's the competition in that? So I, I had no time for it, right? So yeah, they are doing weekend Showdown. So HBK, if, if I read the blog correctly, they're doing it... Um, they're doing it this weekend, so we're all by Thursday. We're all going to have a real good idea about what we're going to be doing this weekend. Yeah, ASG. Like, um, as I said, and as you saw, what I did, like, I I went in with KOs against um, against techs, and there's not a good tech combination um, that's going to withstand KO, right? KO, if, if it just gets to two or three turns, as you saw with mine, I wasn't really paying attention. It was able to just knock people out. So I think it's made defenses harder to sustain, especially because defenses are harder to match class-wise. Like every good defensive tag link is people from different classes, with the exception of Hall of Fame. So yeah, it's going to be hard for sure. All right. So, boss, is that what we want to talk about? You want to, want to go over sort of um, some more numbers now? So now that we know that we made a list yesterday. Let me bring up my list of who we thought might be good for the bargain bin. And then we can sort of go up from there. So we said, uh, um, yeah, it's going to make you use your trainers. So you want to make sure your trainers and your promoters are as well. So I think you get more for a defensive win as well. I don't think I, I hooked up my promoters on my guys. But again, it's the first day. I'm not really that concerned. But I will do that in the future. But that's a great uh, a great point, HBK. Thank you. Um, okay, so for the, the bargain bin. So what we decided yesterday, and now that we know that there's a lot less health for the boss because it's a midweek, because it's the first female, because we don't have a lot of boss breakers, maybe all of the above. Um, I'm sure Merrick's went over all of that kind of stuff. Um, so we decided yesterday, if it was a billion, that we need somebody to break the shield. That was sort of our number one concern. So we made a list based on people that can blow up the board and help to break the shield. Um, need to work on some sneaky defense with your classes? Yeah. So... Defenses that can win, right? You need to actually actively put in defenses that can do defense and win. And so it's, it's going to, you know, your defensive straps, those 50% defensive straps and stuff like that, um, that's going to be really important. Yeah, so Striker Bianca was on our list of people that can uh, blow up the board um, with her uh, Snowfall uh, gem move. We, we talked about Alundra Blaze, um, her countdown gem making... All the column breaks on the bottom row, and you can bust that open. Uh, we talked about Lana and Mella. We talked about Mickey James. Um, <laughs> not only can win, but you can have people think that they can win. Yeah, that's part of the sneaky part of it too, right? The the think that they can defeat you, um, and then they they just cannot. 
yeah, so we talked about uh, Stacy Keebler, so Ms. Uh, Ms. Keebler, Miss Stacy Keebler, and so I put her in my video as a sort of a sneaky pick because I think she's actually going to be somewhere in between the the bargain bin and uh, the top that are there. Uh, Zombie Belair <coughs> for sure, <coughs> but although she was in my top uh, six video eagles, so um, I think she's going to do better because of her finisher and the fact that she's got the traps and things. But um, in terms of, and so, <clears throat> so what I want to do today is maybe add to the list um, beyond, uh, we put Super Stacy and then we put Miss Keebler on there as well. Okay, so those were who we sort of looked at from the uh, from the, the list of right now. So what, we, what we're going to do, I guess, is, is maybe now that we know that the, the amount of damage, or sorry, the amount of health is much lower, that means this buff here having a thousand percent more damage. Um, and if you're, uh, yeah, this one right here. So, and if your faction maxed it, you should have 30%. So you're really getting a thousand and thirty percent more uh, on the on the finisher. Um, what does that mean in terms of uh, finisher? Yo, what is happening, Kushwant? How you doing? Welcome. Good morning to you. Um, and thank you for the prayer. Appreciate it. Um, so who then becomes more viable with big finishers and blowing up the board, right? We, we still have this problem, right? We still have the problem of uh, 200 any gems that have to be broken. Neutralize isn't going to work. So we need people to blow the board up. We have to blow up the board five times and a little bit to break the shield. So beyond the big hitters, um, who y'all think, who did we miss out on? Maybe we can just go sort of, uh, we'll go class by class by class. And the problem is like if, if you click on finisher move, it's still everybody, right? I don't understand why this is here, right? It just moves everybody you know around. You just, made the list. you just made the list. Mosh with Nico. How's it going? Welcome and thank you so much for the follow. I uh, appreciate it. Hall of Fame Nikki Bella. Okay, uh, let's find. Are you Nikki? You are Nikki Bella. So Hall of Fame. All right, hey, I got a fuse. We can fuse on up. Zeba Lair will blow up the board 100%, right? And so that's why I think, like, if you have Zeba Lair, you're totally going to use her. Um, and in, in the video, so each time we do a boss battle, for those that don't know, I post two videos that week, whether it's a midweek or the weekend, right? So I do the first one where I say, these are the top characters and if you have them, then these are the ones you're going to use. They're going to do the most damage, 100%, right? So Zeba Lair's in there for me. Um, and then I do uh, a video uh, that I call the bargain bin for the rest of us <laughs> that don't have the... They're usually the best... The best ones for these are usually the ones that, um, uh, that we have to uh, come together to find a way to help our teammates. So we're going to get carry, but let's find a way to go uh, with... Uh, with everybody else you just, you just made the list smart rain thank you so much appreciate the follow uh mosh you're welcome um i'm glad you're enjoying the youtube videos um i'm glad everyone uh likes sort of the content that i'm putting out there um i did forget to put um i was too busy making the video that i put out this morning i usually put the stream from twitch uh in my youtube as well too um <laughs> the advertisement just made your list <laughs> <laughs> Ads. Sorry about that, Eagles. If you're if you're still in the la still in the in there, I'm I'm, I'm sorry about y'all being in the ads. Um, but I appreciate the follow, um, and I'm glad that uh, it's on there. But you can always come back to um, to Twitch, and my videos will be there for a couple of weeks. So if you didn't see yesterday's stream, I went in depth over the top five or six with everybody on and then we talked a little bit about the bargain bin but we're going to sort of change that now uh powerhouse china can absolutely uh clear the board um <laughs> eagles wants to go power skiing now because of the ads that he had okay so nikki bella hall of fame um if you did take her six stars so she's got a a, a boost so that's always nice i'm not sure how high that boost goes but she's a b tier so that that's probably gonna get up to 50 or 60 percent i think is what b tiers tend to get up to um 
let's see what else. So we'll swap it into blue. Yours is four bronze. Mine's four gold. So you, you can sort of see what I'm getting. Uh, random blast gem. Okay, so she's going to make blast gems to help blow up the board. Um, choose gems to destroy into blue. And these are going to do nothing. Okay, so no sub. So if I were to run here, then this choose is an easy one to pick. That's a choose to destroy. Uh, random gems into blue is not going to help um, in that sense. Yours is five star silver. Okay, so Kush, that, like this, um, this will actually be a viable solution for you if you don't have anybody else in the focus. So using the, the five star move, so to create blast gems, so you're going to want to get um, a whole bunch of blast gems on the board to help blow it up. Um, I would actually, I might even run triple green instead or this one instead. This would be just choose gems to destroy. Uh, the problem is, is that this is columns and I hate moves that um, I will face off against 6 star Batista absolutely Eagles um, if, is there a time constraint um, on that or I can go face him first if y'all want to see me defeat 6 star Batista with my Miz uh, no time constraint okay yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be on probably for at least another hour so uh, we'll definitely do that but yeah I wanted to get some more boss in there because I know that people are still uh Still interested about that. <laughs> heal, heal, heal. Yeah, it's basically just heal yourself uh, over and over and over again. Um, so it's I guess it's up to you with Nikki Bella. So if you want to buff the finisher to do some extra finisher damage, so coming in with takedown medals, green uh, percentage. Um, so the rule of thumb basically is anything over... Uh, 37k or so as a as a move then percentage is what you're going to want to do instead of flat but that's again the percentage metal has to be over 100 <laughs> to make it worthwhile um, and then I would bring this forearm smash in to load the board with blast gems and then you just pick which move you want to use to destroy that and if you hit the finisher, I wouldn't even choose any columns to swap unless you do it really fast and you see a swap really, really quickly. Um, I think, uh, Kush, that a lot of people have... Um, this is the first for all of us, right? So a lot of us are trying to figure out how we can play and bring unique characters in, right? Could the tricolor work like this random gems? Is this the one you're talking about? So put like a tricolor like that. Um, yes, so you can put the tricolor in and put uh, put the blast gems in. The, the reason I would say if her health isn't that high and you're looking for a way to help, like you want to then, and you don't have anybody with trap gems, then my suggestion is to bring in someone with a finisher, if possible, and someone who's going to blow up the board in some fashion to help with the shield. So those are your two objectives right now, right? Yesterday when we talked... The objective was just to bring somebody who's going to blow up the board because the finisher's not going to do a ton of damage. But now, because the health is that much lower, getting a, a finisher off that's going to do a couple of million up to maybe 10 million is still, it's like it's a viable strategy, right? So as long as you can stay alive, that's the, the other kicker, right? So at level 20, you're going to need a five-star gold at the very least. If you have anything lower than that, find somebody else because you're, no, you're not going to stay alive beyond turn two. Um, so it's just, it's not worth it at that point. So five star gold. Otherwise, you're or you have the permission of your teammates to carry you through the rest of it because you won't be alive. Um, yeah. So Nikki Nikki's interesting. ASG, you had talked about um, where is Striker China? Uh, I am not a math teacher. Um, I am actually a history professor. So. I'm not sure if that makes me better or worse. <laughs> and, and always feel free to interrupt. Um, thank you so much. You just made the list. Nike coach. Awesome. Um, other than that, you got nothing. Uh, I love history too, Johnny. That's, that's, that's why I, I studied it and got a PhD in it. So, Oh, I sounded like his, his math teacher? Okay. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, kids are starting to learn that their uh, their their math uh, their math teachers are also um, you know or at least their parents maybe are starting to learn that their teachers are making money in other uh, OnlyFans places. Um, so it's a it's an interesting world we live in, for sure. 
Uh, you're a physics teacher. Okay, so it's practically a math teacher. Okay, so <laughs> so white mango. <laughs> Is, yeah. Well, physics uses a lot of math, right? Isn't it basically like math to explain how the world works? Um, <laughs> so there's there's your math teacher, uh, Eagles. Uh, maybe that's your son's math teacher. Um, so it, that explains 100% why I couldn't run the numbers. Historians doing math? Are you serious? Like there's there's all sorts of Twitter accounts that uh, that make fun of that stuff. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's all it's all relative. Yeah, very very true. Nice. I appreciate that joke. Um, Four semesters left. Awesome. Congratulations. Um, we definitely need more uh, dedicated and good teachers out there. It's becoming a more and more dangerous job. So, um, and not as high paying as it, as it once was. So um, people need people to fight the good fight. Um, how would we run? So here's someone who also, who also can destroy the board. And I had set her up differently for something else. Um, and I forget what. Um, I think, I think we have to like sort of temper our expectations of that. Um, generally, relative, yeah. So, Sap, I think you bring up something really interesting. I'll, I'll go to Bex in a second um, and, and talk about her and sort of what I think is going to make her uh, good and bad in that sense. So, um, yeah. So, you, brother Ray, you are absolutely correct, and um, you do need a Titan plate to make this the most effective. But in terms of like blowing up the board. Um, this is one that just constantly recycles, right? So you turn the bottom four into blast gems, so you're making 28 blast gems. Uh, the center column destroys all the blast gems, blows up the board, um, so you would start purple and go from there. Uh, if you have a Titan plate, she's awesome. Uh, I had one on her, and I think I did a video. In one, of my, one of my early videos, I had her five-star with a, with a Titan plate to see how hard she hits. Um, so... That is out there somewhere if you look on my page. Um, but yeah, so for her, Brother Ray is 100% correct. The Titan on her is going to make her that much more powerful and it's going to stack because, as we all know, if you are not swiping gems, so if you are just dropping gems, dropping blasts, hitting the finisher, that's just going to keep going and going and going until you swipe. So that's going to build up as well too. So this is another viable option um, for you all out there. So yeah, I think I think... China would would definitely be interesting in that sense. And blowing up and again, blowing up the board. She has a decent sized finisher. We didn't look at the finisher, or at least I didn't take, pay pay enough attention to the finisher. Um, what is her finisher hit for again? I think that was the one thing. So sixty two. You put one hundred and thirty three move damage on that. Um, so you're looking at one hundred and fifty finisher. So you can. You can do some serious damage with that, and especially if it's going to continue to stack and stack with the the other gem damage. So, not not bad at all. I like that. Um, what I think with is interesting then um, is to go back to what to what Sap Daddy said, uh, and I appreciate his knowledge of the game and things as well too. So I I have Beck in my top five, and it's obviously for. You know, the fact that we only have really seven, six or seven total players that have trap gems, like w trap gems worthy of using. Um, so I think, and I said this, and we talked about this in the stream yesterday, that this move set in itself, which is what I usually play her in uh, feud and tours and other things, just because it's easier to control with less volatility to it. Um, I don't think this is the way we would want to run her because I feel like you're going to, cover up your traps or you're going to cover up your subs and so the cross breaks i don't think you're gonna get as many as you think so um i think that's one of uh the issues right she is on my list right that's right <laughs> you got a cush right she's she's on my list um so the problem then becomes how do we maximize the ways to use her for damage right so this one this trap doesn't bleed and cause bleed damage and the sub is going to do four turns, so you're going to get a million on the sub. Um, but it, it will blow up the board, which is one of the requirements that we want. So that for that, you're correct. Um, and your hope is that you blow it all up so you don't have to use a choose move, which takes and chews up time, right? That's what we don't want. But like we discussed yesterday on the stream, and we can discuss a little bit here, um, is that this move set might be 
better suited for what it is we're, we're wanting to do for this boss battle. Um, we want it to make it to purple, right? So if we want the double red and purple, I liked this better. Um, and you can tell me what you think, Sapdaddy, with, with, with this, because I know you talked about it a little bit on your stream, so you can you can tell tell others that are that are here sort of what you, you've come up with and what I've come up with, and I guess maybe what Merrick's has come up with, we can all sort of come together on it. Um, I like this because of the bleed damage. So we're going to get extra damage for the bleed. You're going to make the 36. Um, this is a choose, but it's a choose in area, so you just slap it down on the six of these and uh, hopefully connect with another purple you load this up and you smack that again um, create it into red gems put 36 more down so it's not going to blow the board up in the same way as the green move right so that's the takeaway of this one but you're adding in the bleed damage um, so that's sort of in why i would pick this one is because of one the finisher, which we're getting buffed up on. And two, we're also getting the bleed. And so both of those things aren't going to do a ton of damage, but I think you're actually going to have more trap gems on the board and more available to destroy. If that it, it is a trial and error thing, right? Right? So um so MJ, you're asking, does uh, the sub damage work? Yeah, so you're you the subs will go down, you'll get the damage for them. Um <clears throat> the problem is is that this one here is going to make 16 random into sub. This one is going to make 36 random into trap, right? So you put these 36 down, this 16, the AI isn't hitting. So if there's not enough spaces on the board, I'll put this differently. There's 49 spaces on the board. This is doing 36. So that leaves 13 spaces left. Because this is putting 16 down and there's not... 13 open space, there's more than um, 13 open spaces, it's going to override some of your other gems. So if there were, if it was 13 left, then what's going to happen is it would fill those empty spaces before it overrode your trap gems. But because there isn't any space left, the AI just starts overriding. So it might override 13 of them. It might write override seven or eight, but you'll still have a chance to blow up the board. So that's the benefit of using this move set. So you're going to blow up the board, um, but you're missing out on the finisher and the bleed. And if you don't reload these two, which is entirely possible, these two greens, you're going to have to do a choose move that's going to eat up some clock in order to get the green up again. Did I explain that? Sap, did I explain that well enough to, I guess, to... To sort of how Becky is good. She's probably one of the top ones, but she comes with a liability in both move sets. So, yeah, I think if if she's your best in this class, then that's who you're running. If you, um, I don't think I can actually upgrade her. Uh, if you have her gears all the better you're going to start with more the submission one doesn't really matter um but i think i think that's where i'm leaning with her is that i'm going to go with the double red purple um and see how it goes and then we can always sort of go from there all right who else do we have killing it right now um how do you uh, oh no i want to see what steph does I'm trying to see like just from my biggest people saw 156k ain't bad at all, especially because you got some multiply gems if you run this one. Um, you can make row break gems. That's nice. So you can blow up the board that way. Um, the six star move doesn't really help us at all. So I think... Okay, so she's she has a chance to blow up the board. She's going to make multiply gems into blue gems. So you just have to find a way to reload that if you don't have the right plate on her um i don't know anybody else that y'all have seen that you might be thinking about I'm trying to think of who else might be worthwhile because like in in this class here if you have z bianca you're probably going to use her first you you know you might be able to use a lundra 
and blow up the board that way. Um, we talked a little bit about Hall of Fame Nikki and how she's a, a possibility. Um, I talked about this yesterday as well too, right? Like I, I like Miss Keebler because of spot on going to heart. What do you, what do you mean, brother? Rand? I'm not quite following you. What about defense? Going to hard. Ask ask it again. I'm not I'm not quite following. What I like about Keebler is that she has this gem damage buff, but it's yellow, and we're making traps into purple, but she's making a whole bunch of yellow. So this is gonna recycle well. She's got pretty quick moves. So I think like She's going to be a sneaky good pick. So you, I think what you're trying to say, Brother Ray, is you actually like, what's going on with... Who am I putting in the defensive spot? Okay. Um, that's a good question because I have... If I had... Uh, this would be the number one pick uh, would be uh, Bailey. <laughs> so if you have uh, the new Bailey, if you have somehow recruited her and you've gotten her up high enough, um, if you have recruited her at this point, then you probably have the resources to take her all the way six-star. So she's going to be awesome. Um, I would say that, um, that Baszler would also be pretty good. Um, but I don't have any of the really good ones in this defensive class. And as you can see, uh, someone's going to have to carry me through this class because this five silver is the, the highest I have. Right. So this is going to be bad. Um, wow. What, what can we do with, with any of this? This is just hogwash. Yeah, In increase your blue gem damage, but I'm not taking her six star. Uh, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Thank God, white mango. I I'm gonna need some serious help. <laughs> so someone's gotta someone's gotta carry me through this. Uh, did you did you have you recruited Bailey yet, Mango? Or no? Am I am I seeing things? Yeah, this. She's not going to do good in any way, shape, or form. Not yet? Okay. So, but I, I appreciate that you're you're going to be able to to lift me through this. Uh, Nikki Ash with Ray Plate. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I was going to go through each one of mine to see if there was somebody that I could bring up. So, uh, Nikki would probably be um, the next best thing, at least on my list. Okay, so if we are going to so destroy random yellows... Two rows into heal gems, so that way we can trigger the ray plate. Um, I wouldn't put the steel health. That's not going to help us. Um, so what if we were to do it that way instead? You're just random gems. You're gain health. You're gain health. Um, and then the body slam is, is gem damage percentage. So I think Nikki Ash is going to be good whenever we get to yellow gem damage, boss. Um but for this one, Brother Ray, so if, uh, if this is your best superstar in the defensive class, and the defensive class, if you don't have either of the Baileys, basically, um, or um, or a Baszler, um, you are in bad shape like me with this one. Um, so yeah, I think this one was actually going to stack really, really well. The issue you're going to have is this finisher, which is going to hit... Um, her and, and a five star gold Acro Trish. Okay, I'll, I'll look at Acro Trish and see what we can do with her as well. You got to hope there's five of these, five yellows. This is going to destroy seven of them, but you only need five to reload these two moves right here. This four by two choose to swap into blue gems is a risky one because if you just put them four by two, wherever you choose, if you put it four by two and you don't attach it to another blue, that four by two is going to destroy two rows and you're going to cascade into a pin and that's going to waste some time for you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that that four by two attaches to another blue gem so that it becomes eight plus one nine and hope that that doesn't cascade. And that has a very big <laughs> possibility of cascading those four by two moves. So that's going to eat some clock. So just be, be aware that... Um, 
And that's what sucks about this. Um, so you're going to want to play this move first, actually. So on the hop, you're going to want to play this first before you play this move, the, the body avalanche, because if you put this down first and then you cascade and go into another turn, you're going to start losing um, the benefits of that plate with the pins. So you're going to want to make sure you... Um, you hit this first. If it does cascade, then the next turn you hit this and this um, and go from there. If that makes sense. I'd... Hold on one second. Let me check this ray plate thing. Because I know it's yellow move damage. Is that what it does? Increase your yellow move damage. Okay, so it's not going to help our finisher. I think that's that's an issue. Because she doesn't have a third yellow move. Right? She only has the two. She only has two yellows. So it might be better than to play. Yeah, that's difficult as well too. It would be better to play this one than in that case. Because then you'll buff this regardless of whether you cascade out or not. Uh, and then you just, you'll have to play it that way. I'd be interested to see which way it would be better to play it. But you're, you're going to run into that issue. That this... It's going to buff at 125% for two turns. So this move now is going to do... Uh, what's the what's the max on it? 365. We might get up to 70 or 80k. So you might be doing like 180k. So it's, it's, it's going to stack. I'm not sure how great it's going to stack. It's not going to do millions upon millions of damage. But if this is your best, um, then that's something to consider. But... I personally wouldn't move a plate over for this if the plate isn't going to do tons of damage. And like why why that plate is so good on people like Mickey is that um, it boosts that finisher, right? So that finisher, which was already large to begin with, gets even larger every time you use it to the point of actual millions. And now our finishers are buffed. Her finisher ain't yellow. So that's not going to get the buff that we want to it. So... Um, if you have plate parts to spare and can move it over, or if it's already on her, then maybe. But I'm I'm hesitant. Does that make sense, Brother Ray? Um, I'm hesitant to move it over to her in that sense. Uh, choose to destroy Rams. She's got submission. We're making multiplies. Heal gems. I don't see anything really blowing up the board. Gym damage. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think Str uh, Trish is the way to go for this one. So I would back away clear from her. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do something with this. Immobile gems, columns into immobiles. Um, Purple gems, immobiles into purples. Yeah, I think she can she can destroy a bunch of immobile gems and you get some bonus for it, but I don't think the role model is going to do much either. Yeah, she makes she makes the immobiles into purples, um, and she gets how many columns? Three, four. Um, so yeah, so I think she can she can blow up the board. So if if she. If you have her and you have all of these, um, I would probably put her as the best one so far. Um, unless you've taken this. I'm not sure Demo is here tonight. Demo was here last night. And, uh, Demo has uh, the Sassy Southern Bell at at six star. At six star, she does get a trap gem damage move, but I think it's only four trap gems um, in itself. But she has the ability then to... Bust a lot of gems. Um, uh, that's a good question, Johnny. I'm sorry I didn't answer that the first time around. I was going through all of all of these. Um, I did see it, so I apologize for not responding to it. Um, so striker Shayna, it's three columns, Roka. Okay, for Tech Bailey, um, at six stars. So three columns, you can you know you can do so, you can blow. Yes. So Tech Bailey, if if she is the best one that you have on this list, then that's who you're bringing in. And you probably have her high because she's still a really good character with which to use. So um, you have a choose, you have a reversal. 
uh, five by two, or I think it gets to be more. Um, and then the knee strike, Juggernaut Dems. Um, so you can gain yellow MP, increase your black gem damage. Uh, you can turn trap gems into power gems. That's not going to help us. Extra damage for snowfall gems. Um, if you have Striker Baszler, I think this move would actually help you. It would actually give you a lot more um, gem damage. This will blow up a sizable chunk of the board. Um, you have the choose move, uh, immobile gems, and the snowfall black gems. Okay, so you would generate a whole bunch of these. So yeah, you can actually use the sub here, create the snowfall black gems. Um, choose a five by two area at the top that makes them all go boom, and then you can get extra damage from from this the, the kneeling strike. So I I think she's because she's making all those snowfall gems into black gems. Yeah, she'll blow up the board. So yeah, if you got Shayna Baszler, um, that could actually work well too. Because defensive is, it's a hot mess, right? If you don't have Bailey, you are, you're hoping to get carried, right? You're hoping that you know White Mango like I do. Uh, <laughs> they're going to carry you through this awful, awful, awful uh Awful class. Oh, gosh. Just terrible. Uh, we, we had talked yesterday about uh, Striker Bianca being able to do uh, some damage with that. Um, who else do we see? So, like, if you brought Beth Phoenix up, she'll help to blow up the board. We, we talked about have, not having enough people with Dakota Kai, uh, having her high enough. Um, how's Mask Melon? I, I can't remember if we looked at her last night or not. Um, so yeah, making multiply gems. I don't think Zirea would be good. I think Zirea has like her finisher is damage for um, for botch gems, but I don't believe it actually blows up a whole bunch of anything. And she has really high move charges, if I remember correctly. I will have to go check. Um, multiply gems, random gems, multiply gems. Juggernaut gems. And increase your multiply gems. Um, this finisher could be interesting, I guess, depending on how... It gets up to 50 already. This, plus turning all these into multiply gems, blowing up the board, and turning them all green, so you could do an easy... I just don't like... Ch I don't like choose moves for for boss battles. I find that that just take That eats up too much time um, as you're... And then you're 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 prone to make mistakes, right? Because you're just like go 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 go, and then you hit enter, and it does enter doesn't work, or you miss one, and and stuff like that. Uh, Zirea. Am I thinking of somebody else? The Zirea. Does she have a second finisher that I'm not thinking of? It has a leg drop at six star. So, yeah, she does have the choose gems to destroy. Uh, uh, but I'm not sure. These turn into blast gems. Is I reading that correctly? Okay, so. But it's not a lot, right? It's eight random gems. She makes. Zbianca, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Zbianca will work. Uh, Acro Bianca uh, will also work. She has a big finisher. Um so those will work. Yeah, Zirea isn't uh, wasn't on my list of people that could possibly work. Uh, like if you have Lita, uh, Lita has a big finisher and that will work. Um, I'm trying to think of who else we would want. Um, Becky Lynch, if you have her, would be a good one to use as well too. Um, yeah, she's making a whole bunch of blast gems all across the board and doing a bunch of damage that way. And she's a big finisher, if I remember correctly. So he's, we have a pretty good list of who's in the in the bargain bin. So I think this is different than some of the other bargain bins I've had to do recently where there just wasn't... Like, you were just getting carried. That was it. There was like three superstars, and that was it. And you're getting carried no matter what, right? <laughs> so... Um, 
Did we say Powerhouse Brie? Um, I don't remember if we said Powerhouse Brie was a part. We did say Powerhouse Brie as well. Yeah, you're correct. Um, for the Brie mode. Because um, she's going to make a bunch of Blast Gems as well too, right? Um, so whether you want to choose it or not, it's it's the high gem cost that makes her uh, like high move cost or like 15 moves. Good gosh. Um, but again, if, if your goal is to blow up the board and have somebody else carry you, that's definitely an option for that. So um, if I miss anybody, let me know. Um, I did want to go over for Eagles wanted me to go play the, the hell mode, which I haven't had a chance to play yet. With the Miz, I thought I'd save it for the stream in case anybody wanted to see me win. This is the one? Yeah, that's the one. We'll go with the Miz. This is the last character that I received um, in the in the in the polls. Oh, um, I'm not sure I actually got any keys today. <laughs> I know I, I said I was going to do some key pulls today. Um, I do have my one for the week so far that I've collected. Yeah, I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't even collected enough uh, keys today. I was supposed to do all that stuff, and then I got sidetracked with my kids and other stuff. Shoot. Shoot. What's happening, game? Where did you take me? What I do have, though, maybe as a consolation, uh, is that I actually never opened... Maybe this is where all my keys are hiding. Let me, let me do this. I didn't actually open any of these last week, so here's my backstage pass... Free claim, 14 bag. I'm going to improvise it for sure. This is how I'm going to do it. So let's see how many shards I get from 14 bags and what other resources. So fingers crossed. And if I get 10,000 keys, then we'll, we'll open up a 55 pack. All right, what are we getting? Nope, <laughs> not enough keys. 3750. 8,000 health packs. Eh, that's 2.5 million coin. 155 shards ain't bad. I can take that. Uh, Womp, no one cares. Also those, no one cares. Seven, six of those I can use. Those are becoming surprisingly scarce. Uh, four and four. You know what, overall not bad. Um, works out to about 10 shards per bag, give or take. 11 shards per bag. So, not not terrible. I was hoping for more of this, though. I think 8,000 is a little bit less. And really, 2.5 million in a game where people have billions of coins from the backstage pass? I think it could have definitely been better. But here we are. All right, well, let's see how fast I can beat the Miz, and let me see if I can find a way to get, to get more of this. 11K. Ah, I have not done that. Okay. Thank you, Naroka. I knew there was. I knew there was someone was going to tell me where all the keys were going to be hidden. Um, second note of normal is where we're going to go after we beat this with the Miz, and then we will open up another terrible fifty-five pack, um, and we will suffer through every last one of those fifty-five. Um, I'm joking, of course. I'll, I'll hit the skip because nobody wants to see that. Um, so um, I'm assuming that he has health beyond health. Um, this is for feud, so you are of no use to me. Uh, I'm sure I have stripped this. I did not strip this. Okay, so we have... Uh, maybe on April Fool's Day. Okay, so I have some Fury. I have some... Uh, you are armors. Okay, so I got two armors. I got 100%. I got a really low... Okay, so I'm not going to touch much on that. I'm probably just going to leave it. Save all my bits and other things. Um, God, this is going to take forever. What I like to do every once in a while is bust out the Miz by playing the, the Reinforced Gem one, but the problem is it just cascades so much. And this one right here, like it, what, it's also like 18 charge, which is ridiculous. Um, but he only gained four blue MP for these two blue moves here, so it never recycles well enough. Um, I think that's why I have... And I still do. Uh, I still have the, the kids lightning on there. Because that's the only way you can actually recycle this. Um, that's, yeah, that's what. You've played two and a half accounts today. <laughs> well, is, this my, does, is mine the other half right now? <laughs> You're play, playing on my account as well, Daruka. Um, so what are we going to do? So we get this every single turn. So we, we just want 
Yellow gem damage. We're just basically just going to heal ourselves. You have two accounts and your sons. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I understand now. So I'm like the the, the other half. So I'm, you're, you're, you're playing vicariously through me. A free to play and a pay, a pay to win. Okay, nice. So you can so you're you're a perfect test account for uh, for what how how free to play works and how much better it is now or otherwise than it was before. Uh, yellow. I have someone who does better yellow damage than that. I do not have. I think it's Finn, and that's what makes us go even longer. Yellow moves. Yellow moves. Um, yellow moves. Yellow moves. All right, so I'm just going to go completely yellow move damage to buff up this reversal move um, and get that hitting for a million each time I get pinned. So the goal is get pinned, y'all. That's what we want. So, yay. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hopefully you appreciate it, Eagles. Um Or at least I'm not sure how many how many of y'all have the Miz or how you play with the Miz, but he can be just awful. But we're not going to take any damage basically unless he hits a move on us, which we hope that he will. I'm I'm sure for sure. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he will. Um, this is going to turn blacks gems into yellows. Um, why not? Why not? Yeah, King Woods is a cheat code in himself. Yay. And so now we are just going to forever hit this move. A black gem. Hey, let's have some fun with this. Let's have some fun. Oh, I was hoping I'd get another turn so I could buff that up again. And so that way we can... Get the minus 100 each time. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave the five match and hope that he pins me. Awesome. So I take no damage. And we're going to hit this. And so we just knocked off a million two. So this is why it's going to take forever. It's because we need to get a match each time. So that's filled so we can use it each way through. And now we just we play the waiting game for him to continually pin us. And the problem with the plate that I have on right now, and he's going to continue to heal himself. Good gosh. That's what you meant, heal, 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 is that he's going to continue to heal as I'm going to continue to heal. Oh, that's awful. But he's not doing any gem damage to us, so... As long as he keeps... hitting us, then we're good. Oh, this is atrocious at times. We got, we got a heal fest. Yeah, so if you have King Woods, this could be this gets a lot easier. <laughs> There's a lot less sitting and waiting around as you wait for him to continually pin you. But I can see this being an annoying. Aha! Uh -huh. Very nice. Now we're cooking with gas. You missed it. Oh, you haven't missed anything. <laughs> We've been playing this match for like 40 minutes. Where have you been? Um, there we go. Get a nice little cascade in there. Nice. One, two, come on. Three, there you go. Um, 
So if y'all paid attention to that, if you're able to stack that 100% gem defense move, that one charge one, so if you're able to get a five match, um, hit it again, get a big pin, um, it stacks up how much that kick out has to be. Um, so that's the only trick to using is you just got to hope that you get lucky enough to get a five match. So um, you didn't miss it, Eagles. In fact, you showed up just... <laughs> Just in time, you you actually almost missed it. You almost blinked and it was done. So, oh no, I, well, I I totally understand. Yeah, especially when when the pre orders out there, you got you got to get that. You got to get that kind of stuff fast. So, uh, what what did we get for our win? We got some some points in a bag. Is that what we got? We got the bag. Hey, all right, big bucks. Give me Bailey. Give me Bailey. No. Oh. Boo. Boo earns. Boo earns. Whoa. That stinks. <clears throat> Don't skip the first one for the... For, like, the, the keys? Is that what you're saying, Eagles? All right, let's... Oh, you don't, oh, don't skip the first actual node. You want to see? You want to see the Barrett match? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally show you that. Um, this one. So if if you haven't seen Merrick's do this already, um, it's actually a pretty easy way to do it. So um, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm actually just going to do it what he did because it actually makes more sense. Um, you do need a strap that uh, that has four slots open. That's the that's the only kicker to all of this. So do I have one that works? Okay, uh, I do not. So we are taking a legendary title then off of here, and we will equip it on there. Okay, so I'm going to spend the eight k, sadly to do this but we're doing it for the stream y'all and so uh, let's manage him so what you need then is all armor and what you want to get is gem defense as much as you can so Merrick's if you're still here thank you so much I appreciate you showing how to do this um I need to get another armor medal. So the cost right now is, is coming up with finding people who have uh, gem defense. Um, so we want to get as high percentage as you possibly can, as well as gem defense in general. So, yeah, so we're, we're going straight up gem defense. What are you? You're 15. Uh, you actually might be my highest gem defense medal. You are also 15. I don't think anybody, or you're 12, sorry. Uh, you're 12. Uh, and you are red gem, green gem. You might actually be the best, but you would probably be your move, your move. You are move, move, and move defense. So it's six of one half dozen of another. 30K. Oh, breaking my heart. So let's find. Do I have one of these? Fury takedown armor. Damage, 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 damage. You're all damage. Uh, I think he has a red finisher, so we'll buff that up. Like the <laughs> like the song, yeah. Armor, armor, armor. Um. Okay, what do we have in use armor wise here? All gem defense is 3.2. All move. We just need some percentages to buff this up. Purple, black. Gem defense is 2%. I can probably take it off of Cesaro. All gem defense is 1.6. Go. They're all awful. 
So as you can see, I struggle like all of you do with finding the right metals. I go through metal bits so fast. Uh, this is going to stay on here. That's actually a nice one to have. So this is going to, if I hit a critical hit, um, it's going to reduce the damage of all my opponent's gems. 50% for one turn. So we'll leave that on him. And I believe he has a buff in general. Yes. His finish, yeah. But my Barrett has, as you can see, uh, 122k. Uh, so we got gem defense. We got gem defense. And then does he have any other... Starts with two more matching. So he doesn't have any... Any other bonuses to him? Okay. So we are going to then just th throw gem defense on him um, as much as we can. We're going to defend everything. So 30% there. We're going to defend. I do have props. That is the one thing I, I do have. We're going to put... Um, Well, let's try it this way. Let's see if we can do it without a prop first of all. Um, let's see if we started with red moves. And then we'll bring some more gem defense. So we will go... Um, yeah, that that one hits uh, and I am all done. Did I say strap on again? I, <laughs> of course I did. Why wouldn't I have said that? Um, less yellow damage... Um, What's his other one? I'm going to take less damage from his yellow moves. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Um, that's red moves. Blue gems, I think, is his other one. Let's smack that down and see what we can do. Um, random gems into red gems. Okay, so we just we need to create a pin, basically, is what we're going to do. Uh, you, you weren't quick enough, HBK. Uh, <laughs> your Barrett doesn't have a strap on. Okay, so uh, you're you're gonna have to put a strap on him to make this actually work and go boom. So um, I will bring the props. <laughs> I got I got a backup H HBK. If if you if you're not fast enough, uh, <laughs> these guys are there for you. You could just wear you could just wear a regular one. He just needs to have those four slots open. If um. If I remember correctly, I'll bring the yellow down just in case. Um, but I want to see if I can do this without any props. Let's see what see what we can do. <laughs> so I got I got I got uh, I got my backup uh, in case in case I say it. Uh, it's the belt versus strap. Yeah, I could keep just saying belt, uh, but where's the fun in that? Um, so with the four. I don't blame you, Nike. <laughs> I don't want to upgrade Barrett for anything. And and to be honest, like um, mine was two star gold when I started the day. They gave us a three star silver in the on the portal, and then I bought my backstage pass, and they gave me a four star silver. So I've I've upgraded like that, but I haven't done anything else with his moves. Um, everything's still two star gold level or not. Um, so what are his gems? So this might not actually work. I'm not sure we have enough gem defense to actually make a difference. We might actually have to... Oh, I didn't bring a red down. Okay. Hit the move. Get on with it. We might have to change some gem defense. Oh, he gets, of course he gets a five match. Like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, this this will totally kill us. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll come back to the drawing board with some gem defense. I tried it with the red MP uh, trainer, but we very clearly needed more yellow gem defense in order to knock it all out. Okay, that's all right. We tried. We tried. Uh, we'll try again. Yeah, I don't blame you. I would don't you don't need to waste any of your resources or anything on him ever, right? Like 
unless like again, it depends on how badly you want. What are we getting? Two thousand shards, right? Like that's 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 great for upgrading six star possibilities, right? So we have to we have to find ways to to beat this <laughs> without doing. It. But yeah, if there's a way that you can uh, beat this, or if they're giving you free S tier superstars like Xbox, uh, then I will hundred percent put some stuff into them. Fine, you make me go for a yellow um, gem defense again. So, Titan plate build. I'm 100% not putting a Titan plate. <laughs> Hard pass. Um, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for yellow. That's yellow gem damage defense. All right, let's see if that makes the difference. I might just not have enough gem defense on the strap itself but god i'm 100 not moving a titan plate over i'm not going to spend 20 20 plate parts just to move that over for this <laughs> drip plate <laughs> he's got black moves uh, i also did not do that okay so um nine to 15 so we would need two props or a match there we go we got one match We'll use one prop. So as long as he's breaking the yellows, I think the problem is that I'm not taking enough gem damage here. We're going to have to do some more work to get some more gem damage, or gem defense, sorry. Because I don't think I have enough. As long as he's breaking yellows, though. Hey, and there. Boom goes the dynamite. We did it, y'all. So... Even without having all of the necessary gem defense, um, that's the way to do it. So move a strap over <laughs> that has four open spots. You blinked and you missed it. <laughs> it was quick. <laughs> yeah. Did it. Winning. Um, so yeah. Do, do I need to do it again, Eagles, or no? Was it, was it really too fast? <laughs> Were you too concerned about finding plates that I could throw over uh, to make it work? Um, yeah, okay, so let's get those keys. Let's see if I actually get anything from the keys with all of this. And then uh, I'm good? Okay. I'd, I'd do it again if you actually needed to see it, um, <laughs> if that was the case. Uh, what's the... Oh, I got I got stuff on it. All right, we'll, we'll beat this quickly. So we can open up those keys and then... Whatever else y'all want to see tonight or talk through. So I got probably about another 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, maybe half an hour, depending. I think I have a, a good list of, uh, of people to put uh, in the bargain bin. We can get that bargain bin up and running. That would be good. Instant replay does work. It's good to know that at this day and age, we finally mastered instant replay to the point now where we're so tired of instant replay and we actually don't want mechanical judges <laughs> reviewing things. Like how many sports are like, no, I don't want to see if the umpire or if the referee or any of them got this wrong. It slows down the game too much. It takes away too many goals and other things. So It's funny. Uh, it, it is to me, right? So as, as someone who actually has a doctorate in sports history, um, I think it's really funny how we've, we've come like full circle about how we need this technology because uh, if we had it or if we were able to slow it down and if we could make those decisions in the middle of the game, it would absolutely... Um, yes, you had to agree to like just not be a jerk, Eagles. <laughs> Basically, like... If if you're on there, like, come to have a good time. Just don't bully anybody, or make any just obscene racist uh, or other types of comments that, you know, would yeah. I think is it letting you in or no? It should, um, yeah. So as, as long as as long as you're not being a jerk, right? Like we just as long as you're there to talk talk the game and have a good time, then then we're good. All right, so. What's, what's our strategy for this? I now have my 55 pull. What's the strategy? Am I, am I going straight to the skip? Am I opening like one or two? Or what, what seems to work? Yep. 
you're in now. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, so here's here's our our chance to connect. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit the 55 for sure. <laughs> Nothing works. <laughs> HBK, you are 100% right on that. Nothing really ever works. Uh, what does DJ do? Is he? Is, does he, I, I think DJ like asks asks uh, the chat for ideas of, of what to do. I'm, I'm probably just gonna hit the skip because it takes a long time to go through 55 of these things, especially like um, your John Cena on Discord. Okay, cool. Oh, I'll keep that in mind when I get back onto the Discord um, afterwards. <laughs> broken onyx <laughs> awesome eh? I, I should we, I should make a uh, a channel in there maybe that's what the general uh, channel uh, chat should be called it should be broken onyx uh, <laughs> he gets you <laughs> so alright well if, if you do have questions or you do want to chime in um, then that's where we would do it um, alright y'all I'm going to open one and then we'll we'll skip the rest We'll see what we get. As always, we're gonna get nothing but shards. I will one hundred percent get nobody that I need, but that's what we expect. All right, smash! <laughs> Look for eagles. You can't see me. All right, all right. There's my my Sheenom shards. We'll skip the rest. And you know what? If I didn't have them, it's not a bad pickup for doing nothing in the game. Um, but it looks like I got. Everybody else, this is all just common and shards and nothing good. Womp womp. Nobody knew for me. I did hit a feature. Did you ever notice that we always hit a feature in this and this feature is always somebody they gave us for free? And this way they can tell us that we've we hit a featured. I think every time I've opened one of these, one of these fifty fives, I've had somebody that was free. I think last time I had Braun Um the first one of the month, I had somebody else that was free that was in here. That was just like a, a free card that they gave us for the free to play. Who was it? I don't remember. But yeah, I, I think I've, I've hit the feature each time. It's always been somebody that we've been given for frees uh, in the game itself. So, boo. Boo to that. Well, I'll put it in the chat again since you brought it up, uh, Eagles. If you are interested in joining my Discord. You don't have to be like John Cena, like Eagles. You can actually talk to me. <laughs> you can actually say hi uh, or ask any questions uh, or anything that uh, anything you want to talk about uh, in the game. Um, if you have questions about your rosters or other things, <laughs> I can hear you. I just can't see you. <laughs> well played. Well played. Uh, you can connect to the Discord. Just, again, don't be a jerk. Don't be a bully. Uh, just be there to help out the community because that's what we're creating. Um, it's interesting because, like, when I, when I read all of your comments in there, I'm actually, like, talking to you. So you're hearing me while I'm reading what you were saying. But in my head, I'm actually, like, talking to you. It's a weird phenomenon, this, uh, this uh, streaming thing, for sure. Um, yeah, what else is going on through all of this? I think, is this one also, I'm trying to think if there's anything else special within this. Oh, so you got Barrett Tours. Oh, that's something totally different. Oh. So how many of y'all do not have Miz or, uh, or uh, King Woods here and you have to use Barrett for these tours? Because that's going to be, that might change how I play. For the remainder of the week, I might be showing you how to run Barrett to to win this. That makes sense, right? Like you, you every time you say something, uh, <laughs> it's a uh, you you have to do an HBK. Oh no! Uh, so we actually have to like sit down and figure out how to run Barrett. Okay, well I have a, a strap on him now, so that makes that's half the battle. Uh, we're just gonna have to. Um, we might be doing the same thing throughout all of his tours here who is the head of all of this oh so it is it's batista again interesting ah yes i do <laughs> uh so can we use we can use them all the way up and this time he's less this might actually work okay let's play him the exact same way 
with the exception of let's start with red MP just to make our lives easier as we go forward all right so y'all might be having to use Barrett for for this like HPK so uh, Eagles you might have to call a professional about uh, <laughs> the voices in your head it, it, it some days it might feel like like one of those TV shows kind of like the Wonder Years where it, it, it's talking and narrating as you're going along and you hear the thoughts of one of the uh, one of the actors so there is the black gems and we don't want to hit the finisher okay so what if we went show moves quick okay um, I would probably run them the same way HBK I would probably this move will go off first so you can either uh, s when you get to the to the final boat uh, boss node, you can switch this out for whatever their ma their um, highest gem produ um, number is. Uh, how I met your professor, <laughs> nice ASG, uh, and you would bring it back to yellow when you got up to um, Batista again. Uh, you can use red MP up to, so that way you just need one match with this black move here. And then you can um, you can then uh, try to get this off quickly and just use the gem defense to try to make your win. Um, I'm not sure if there's another one. So that destroys random. That destroys multiplies. Turns multiplies into blast. To be quite frank, like this is a he doesn't create any of these things. <laughs> so none of these moves are actually of any use or help to us. Um, so you're going to be running the exact same move set. Um, is uh, these these three moves right here? So um, and as you can see, I, I hadn't even leveled these up past um, past uh, two star gold. They're all they're still all level six. So okay, good. Uh, I'm assuming you got to go. So um, but yeah, that, I would just run them the exact same way. And, and the only thing I would change to get through like the easier nodes would be to put in an MP, um, put an MP trainer in there to start with. Let's see how that runs. Because for the first couple, you're going to win. You know, he's got two thousand, two thousand not notoriety, but two thousand uh, talent. So it should be a pretty easy, pretty easy going win right there. Yeah, so this is the, the same way we played the last one. So if you get if you play with the red MP up, you you put down the black move. If it does make a connect, uh, then you just hit the finisher, and we're done with that one. All right, I'm gonna go up to the hard mode. <laughs> yeah, um, if so, for all y'all out there. Um, and uh, and have stuck around through all of this. Uh, if if you can only use Barrett in this uh, mode right now, this is probably how I would run him through it. And you know what? I got ten or fifteen minutes. Um, let's see how far we can go with Barrett. <laughs> let's see if we can let's see if we can just beat this whole thing uh, with King Barrett in this in this fashion. If if that's the case, then you know it's 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 possible, y'all. So. I think it is, especially because the final uh, boss Batista on this one is only five star gold, so he's not he's not six star like we just faced. So, uh, so that's the danger, right? So we, we hit the black move; it connects with nothing, but we do get that hit. And you can see we're hard, we're not taking barely any damage at all because of all the armor on us. This might be doable. I say that before we actually get up to uh, up to the hard, but yeah. So if you if you bought the backstage pass, then you are going to be like me. You're going to have Barrett now at four star silver, higher than you ever thought you would take him. Like I never never in the last five years that I think I'd ever get him that much. They made it so you can't use him in that match, uh, like here. Yeah, six star Miz would be. Oh, you can use the Baron on on here in the tag match. Are you meaning on like six star? You can't use it. 
in there. What do you say? I don't think I can use it here. You, you mean like in the in the hell mode? ASG? Because it has me in there now. Is it just two powerhouses? I'll have to go back and check. Oh, and Hard and Hell, he's not, C, uh, he's not the contest superstar. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll come back and do this afterwards. And you can use him, you're just not getting the, the points for it. Or the whatever the, the bonus is for it. Uh, but they've done that for a long time with... Uh, maybe they haven't... I think they've changed it. And two tech for defense, yeah. I think I got the bonus on that one, did I not? I did get the bonus. Oh, I'm still on normal. Oh. I thought I went to hard. Y'all. Here I am, talking smack, thinking like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> My apologies, ASG. <laughs> I'm still on normal. No wonder it's all working. Move to hard. What are you doing? Makes sense. Makes sense when you do it that way. Yeah, I think. Uh, diamonds. I need to make a sound clip of something that I say all the all the time in my actual real life, which is everything's coming up Millhouse. I need a sound bit for that one. So this is what we mean. You'd have to have one of the two for the contest. Aha, which I do, but you know what? I'm still going to beat it with Barrett because I'm a man of my word. So let's show them how we roll. It's been a really fun stream tonight. I've really enjoyed this. I hope you all have also had a good time. There's a nice little cascade. Nice. Yeah, I think this exact... Yeah, you're welcome, White Mango. Uh, I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate everybody coming in. I really, I'm enjoying the streaming thing a lot more and more as I get more comfortable with it. Because it is like, it is awkward at first, right? You're trying to like, you're talking to yourself basically, right? <laughs> For me, I'm in a room. Um, it worked like a charm with that Barrett. Awesome, Naroka. That is great. So I. I wish I could take credit for all of this, uh, but this this was uh, Merrick's build, so this is the one that he shared, and I always give credit where credit is due. I have no reason to take the credit for that one. So, um, but yeah, this this works um, amazing. So glad it worked. It does sap, Daddy. It does take out the Batista. So I I did the Batista. Um, in the challenge node, um, uh, it, it worked for that one. So I can I can show that one again if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna bust through hell, uh, and then we'll we'll go back to the challenge node again for for you if you missed it. But yeah, it, it absolutely works. So the only the only difference from what I have on here would be. Um, <laughs> he's overthought it yeah I think we all did right and and so that's why as I said Merrick's was like no y'all are overthinking this <laughs> this is actually much easier um, I would just take out uh, Sting right here again and, and put in um, uh, who was it who do we have on there um, gem defense it was yellow gem defense I forget who it was that was yellow gem defense um, big daddy it was a uh, diesel Diesel's the yellow gem defense. So that's who that's who we put there. Uh Trip Showboat five star. Nice Tiger King. I'm talking about the the King of Kings version. 
Um, he's he's really he's really good for a free ish character. Um, yeah, it, it, great coach, definitely a playable character um, for sure. Definitely good. So this is the one we might have trouble. His sub build nice. Even with cascades, see that's I've done. Even with the cascades and the hard, it's it's effective, right? And especially for um, for newer um, newer players to the game, yeah. So double double armor build, uh, honky tonk man. Um, you're gonna wanna. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show the setup in uh, in hell for you, Sap, so you can see exactly what um, we're talking about. Uh, you don't normally watch Merrick's, uh, you watch Sap Daddy's when he's on those Mondays. Yeah, I, I, I wholeheartedly endorse heading over and watching Sap Daddy. Um, if you haven't already, I'll definitely click on the name um, and head on over there. Um, he tends not to really conflict with <laughs> anybody else in that sense. So, like, um, what I really like about Mondays is, like, you can hit Sap Daddy when he's on. Then you can hit up uh, Merrick's for part of his stream when he's doing it with the, the WWE stream. And then you can head over to my stream. Um, we overlap a little bit, but nothing um, nothing terrible. And then you, you stay for what you like and, and you, you move when uh, when it comes a topic that you're, you've you already heard enough of for the day. So, uh, yeah, Sap, Sap is hilarious. Sap's awesome. So click on his name, give him a follow, um, and head on over there. So um, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, some days we do that. <laughs> some days we run a little bit longer. So, um, but yeah, you were setting up your your Sap Daddy Wrestling League. So um, that's exciting stuff, man. I can't I can't wait to see more of that. Um, so yeah, dub, double armor. You want to make sure that your sub stats have gem defense as well. It'll make it easier on you. Uh, I transferred this over from um, my Showboat Hogan. So this helps, but it's not necessary. So I wouldn't just waste any of the plate parts on there but I am uh, I'm at a hundred and nine percent gem defense on this one right here so that's that's what you're gonna need um, you just got the four yeah it's it's in the store right and like if you get the backstage pass um, or if you bought the the four star gold for ten bucks you know I'm not saying one is better than the other but at four stars with a strap double armor Honky Tonk Man, um, it's definitely doable. I just realized that I didn't show you who all of my... I think I, I might have showed you that before. Yeah, so Honky Tonk. This is so that the red move only requires one match. Uh, this is yellow gem defense. Um, and then I put blue on here because several of the people we're playing have blue as their secondary color. So that's what I've got on there. <laughs> it, de it definitely worked well. Yeah, just borrow, spend spend the AK strap parts, bring somebody over, and bring a, a strap over that will work on him, and it's it's that double armor that's going to make the difference, right? So. Ooh, that one was closer. So if you do find them getting closer to to them kicking out, then it, it's time to take off the the red MP and put on um, gem defense, basically. But uh, Devil Fury, the mean guitar, the mean guitar is a good card, especially uh, as a free card. Much better than I think we give them sort of credit for. All right, so here's where we're going to run into a little bit more of an issue. What are your Massive is red gem damage. Okay, so let's let's move some stuff around here. We're gonna do some replacing. Let's do some defense. And we will go red defense. Color turn, black, multiply, purple, silence, red. And then I have red, yellow, Blue. Let's see if that works. Let's we'll, we'll bring down three of his different colors. Mutant priest. Also another really good free card. So there, there's lots. This is one that I'm really enjoying about the game lately, and you're bringing it all up for me, Tiger King. So I appreciate that. Is that you know like 
there's a lot of free cards in the last six months that are entirely workable, doable, playable. Awesome. Okay, so when you don't have the um, the MP trainer, this black movie you're going to want to hope hits. And then as long as they don't get something off that next turn, you're going to six turn into countdown gems. Okay, so our options are, I actually have yellow down props, so I'm going to use them here. Um, the alternative, um, if I was paying more attention, would be to swap out an MP reduction coach so that wouldn't go off. But I didn't put that on there, um, so that's why I used that. So black move makes a red match. We can then... Uh, we'll take that one. We make our match, and then hopefully... Yeah, so three three of his gems are now at one. Let me just hope that. Boom. And there's our win there. <laughs> boom, boom. Dun, dun. And so we'll do the same thing here since yellow is his big color gem. We'll just move this one back over to, oh, I hate when I do that, previous. Uh, if I had him at, <laughs> at, I think it's 5K to have your diesel so that it does 30% less gem damage, but I'm not putting... If I'm not going to put any <laughs> any money or coins into him, sure as heck ain't going to put it into Diesel. <laughs> that's that's for sure. But now that I've said that, if anybody from Scopely is still on the stream and listening, um, please don't put um, please don't put Diesel as the next one we need to use. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely no fun. <laughs> Showboat Yoko does the same as Big Daddy. Oh, interesting. I think I just went straight for, for Big Daddy. That's a good point, White Mango. We'll check that out after this. <laughs> they they will 100% do it despite me. Most most people would. Um, so without the MP trainer, again, um, you either need to bring something to knock this down because that will kill us, uh, or you use one of these. We hit the finisher. What's his... Well, he's he's going to have a chance to kick out. Boom. And so you're going to have to get lucky that he's not going to be able to match any of the three that actually do any of the damage. Um, but again, you can just heal him up and go from there. So it depends on your prop level. If you don't have a lot of props, then bring in a red MP down coach. What's happening, Big Bear? How you doing? Otis Powerhouse to five star. Otis Powerhouse is really good. Again, another free character that's really good. And one that is definitely usable. And if you get yourself a a Titan plate on him, all the better. Right? He's gonna hit way, way hard. So awesome. Congrats. Um my Otis, I need to bring up some more as well, too, uh, for his coaching ability. Um, but yeah, he's he's on my list. Uh, of people to bring up uh, and people to use. Uh, so, Sap, this is what you wanted. You wanted to see it actually here. So this is this is basically the same one that we just went against, the same uh, same talent level. Um, so what what you just saw is uh, is the same. Yeah, there's there's the list. Uh, he is definitely on the list. Um, White Mango, you had said Showboat Yoko is also on this list of gem defense. Is that correct? Did I not? Uh, from yellow gems. Okay, yeah. So it, most of you will have this one at least 5K, probably more so than you will have 
Uh, let's let's try it with five percent more, <laughs> less yellow gem damage. So you have two options here. Um, uh, I will take this out so I don't waste. Actually, you know what? Whatever. If I die, I die. Doesn't matter. No, I would. I would doubt they would rework him. They don't tend to rework a lot of characters. Um, yeah, like Rob Van Dam was the last one that I could think of that they reworked, and even the reworking of RVD, the the acro version, um, like it isn't. He wouldn't be your next acro to bring up. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't want to use any more props for this one, so let's start with red down, and let's hope this keeps him down. Yeah, so I I I don't think. They don't tend to rework posters in this game. Um, and it's clear to see why, right? There's no money to be made in doing so. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, actually, for very little financial gain on their part. Um, and they went a step that I thought, when we got to six star, I thought what they were going to do, maybe at least what I secretly hoped that they were going to do, is that they were going to take all of these old cards and they were going to give them, like, smoke and hot six star moves right that would actually change them and make them better and what they did was the opposite is that they put a tier system out and they gave basically everyone in the c tier a similar type of move everyone in the b tier a similar type of move um, and so forth so they didn't they went the shard route where you need you know forty five thousand shards of this guy to do anything um, so that sort of I think that that was their chance to make to make it better in that sense, um, and they decided to go against it. Blues into reds. I will not cascade. I know I need this if I want to like recycle, but that's not my goal. My goal is to actually, actually, I probably didn't want to put reds on the board, did I? I thought about not putting blues on the board. Okay, uh, Sap, you seeing this? By putting that extra five percent yellow on there, all of these are ones. So. Uh, I hit this move. Bingo, bango, bongo. Um, he's not kicking out. Oh, he is kicking out. Okay. Apparently, I, I mean, I lied. <laughs> Can we, Your Honor, I'd like to strike that from the record. <laughs> what is it? Uh, when Lionel Hutz, he's like, I want to call for a bad court thingy. <laughs> I am a liar. <laughs> uh, you are a liar. We can wipe that clean. This never happened. All right. <laughs> What's happening, fish? <laughs> Boo this man. Boo. Are they saying boo or boo earns? <laughs> No, I, you, you know what? Sometimes you just got to sound the trombone. No. Oh. <laughs> Some, sometimes you just got to boo this man. And you know what it was? It was because I took the red MP, uh, the, the, the minus red MP. I put that on. I took the blue gem defense off. And that blue gem defense was exactly what I needed because he's matched two blues in a row. <laughs> <laughs> that's what got me that's what killed me and this time this won't be enough either will it I don't think so uh, how many am I away I will get three plus the two is five so I'll actually that will be not enough womp womp so I either I don't want to waste another prop doing this. All right, so this this one's going to be an intentional loss. Oh, for sure. I am very smart in history and very simple. Bad in math, as we have seen, um, and simple in many other ways, <laughs> for sure. This one you totally saw. No, I will not do that. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> Like, 
I got too cocky. That's what it was. Yeah, it does feel bad on your own stream when you're like, I got this, y'all. Watch, I'm going to show you. I got this and I'm totally one. And what? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> totally didn't win this. All right. Um, let's see if we can do it again. The good thing is, is that he only has, you know, 100k health. It's not a lot of health packs. And we got some time. Yeah, every everyone, I've... I'm completely deflated now. I'm going to go to bed feeling so bad. <laughs> oh, you're absolutely going to make me... Ugh, this is so stupid. I now hate Batista more than ever. <laughs> Fish, nice. I like that. Quit the game? That's a paddling. <laughs> paddling the school canoe? You better believe that's a paddling. Good gosh. Batista? Stop. Stop making me look bad on my own stream. Here's the other thing. Like they're giving me no... Ferg. You just made the list, and thank you so much. I appreciate the follow and boosting my confidence again. <laughs> I appreciate it because <laughs> you're supposed to work with me here, Dave. Um, we are a team on this. You're going to make me use another pro I don't want to use any more props. I'm not wasting. I've already beat this. God. Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is just so terrible. We're better than this. <laughs> it really is because you asked me to do this. <laughs> Batista is schooling me. Batista, I do the schooling, not the other way around. Don't talk back to me, uh, Scopely. Come on. <laughs> you must, obviously I want to heal the superstar. What do you think this is? Let's try this again. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no. No, Batista is, is schooling me. The first time around, like, I totally did this. And it was fine. And I was kicking butt. Yeah, I thought what we had was special, Batista. But here we are. Uh, let's see if he takes that blue. Okay, that works too. All right, we've got this going for us. Yeah, he's got me some sort of school suspension or something. Ooh. Yeah! Sit down! God! <laughs> he's just... He's taking his Hall of Fame aggression again out on me. It's not my fault you declined to go in the Hall of Fame. Um, yes! Yes! I did it, everybody. I did it. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Acknowledge me. I did this. <laughs> I do need a good one after a win. Um, that, yeah, Mosh, I'm 100% and um, earn bonuses through there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was 100% schooled and all of that. It took me forever to beat him again, but I did the only thing I wasted base, well, I wasted props, obviously, to do it the first time through. But um, that time I won without props, and it only cost me the strap parts to move it on over. But it did take a few times, and it did make me look like a, <laughs> like an idiot, uh, for sure. Um, yeah, we need a good, a good soundbite for winning. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm all ears for something that we can do with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Back to grad school. Oh, please, God, no. Please, dear God, no. Eight eight years of grad school was enough for me. Got to tell you. That's that's as far as I planned on taking it. So, um, yeah, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if you if you saw it all, uh, but I just went through with the, with the build that I just did. I just went through the tours um, with, uh, with Barrett. So, um, Charlie Charlie Sheen, oh yeah, winning. <laughs> that, 
that could go too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm going to continue to work on my, on my sound clips and my sound bites, and hopefully it'll be respectable for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for for the props. I, I, I did win again. It's, you know, it's not easy being green and I thank Merrick's again, but, um, yeah. So if, if, if you did see it, I did beat this tour mosh with, uh, with Barrett all the way through, except for this note I hadn't gone through yet. You need one of those two. So I'll just beat it with that. But since Barrett doesn't help you there, you don't get anything for using Barrett here. There's no point to doing so. But, um, what do we have to use here? Who can we use and have some fun with it? Is it everybody? Everybody. All right, who do I beat this with then? That's the next question. Who do I win with? So those are my my top at the moment. To whom do we throw in the ring to beat, uh, to beat this with? Uh, Riddle. I think I took the plate off of Riddle so he won't hit as hard at this moment. Um, I do have a video on Riddle uh, with the with the Z plate on him with the full Fury 2. Is that what I have on him? So it'll be a much different... Uh, we'll equip the Fury 2 so at least get the 80% the jam damage. That comes with it, but um, I have not saved a loadout. What am I doing with my life? Is what I want to know. That's what I want to know. All right, so we're going to want to start. Uh, not you. You. Blue moves. Uh, we want to match blue moves. Final Fantasy. Yeah, trying to think of some good old school ones. Um, yeah, like like oh like yeah Mario Kart, right? So Mario Kart's gonna have some really good ones in there too, right? So you know, uh, I'm thinking like a Wario, right? I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win, something like that. Uh, starting board. So what if we add blue move points? Color turn gems. We can actually probably get color turn gems here too, but we're going up against a five star gold, and I don't think we're actually going to have that much difficulty. Famous last words. Yeah, being being a family man and a professor, life is hard. Uh, do I have any? I should have. Someone here is doing countdown gem damage, right? Yeah. Metroid Mega Man. Yeah. Use him for for tours. You should be able to use him for all the tour stuff. I agree with you on that one. Yeah, for sure. So you don't get those like two tag team modes. That's the other, the only other problem. Okay, so this, if I remember correctly, how to play Riddle. We'll do the guess and the test, but um, yeah, I don't think it'll be. Zelda has a lot of, like, 8-bit, like, from the old Nintendo. I'd have to go back and play it. I have it in, sitting in my living room right now. I still have the Nintendo that my parents bought in 1985 sitting in my living room right now with a bunch of games, Zelda being one of them. Okay, so we are going to turn colored friends, so we're going to hit this move. If you have the Z plate, this is what it would um, help it all go off. We're going to increase our gem damage. We want to get a blue match. Not sure I wanted to cascade or knock out one of my gems right there, but is what it is. So the, where this move set actually excels is that on turn two, after you get the black uh, blue match, you were able to then get the the Z plate to go off again by putting those down. And then we're going to buff up our purple gem damage. This is going to turn 35 of them. 
I'd have more of them on the board if I didn't knock one of them out last turn. And then we do a big boom. So that hit for 3.1 million, and that's without the Z plate. With the with the Z plate, that's hitting seven, eight million, if not more. And that's again, I don't have him all his star filled um, or the best um, medals moved up or anything like that. Zelda: A Link to the Past, best game ever. It was that was definitely Ferg. I agree. One of the I have until I've had kids. Um, until recently, um, I have played every Zelda. <laughs> I have owned every Zelda. I've played every one. I've beaten uh, every one. I think um, Majora's Mask might be the last one that I played. I know there's been like Skyward Sword and another one recently um, that I have not played or beaten. So that's things that are on my list for when my kids are finally um, no longer sucking the life out of me uh, in that sense. Um, yeah, okay. So I, I think we beat all the things that we meant out to beat. Um, any other things we should go over? Anything else you want to see before we call the night? I'm going about 20 minutes more than I usually do. Or more than I thought I was going to go for the night. I got some rewards to cash in a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, this this was a lot of fun tonight. I really enjoyed this. We had a, a nice, lively crowd. We had some good conversations. We talked to some boss. We did some showdown stuff and just remind you that, you know, the showdown is, is just day one. We got lots of lots of time to 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 do stuff. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for, for coming out and, and sticking on through. Um, I hope we've learned some stuff, gotten some ideas, at least maybe even just built uh, the tours. You just made the list. Hypercraw. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. Um yeah, Ferg, so um, Trick Becky, I think, is going to be good. Hall of Fame China is going to be good. Um, uh, I have the, I've put my top five in video out there on YouTube, so I'll put this out there again. I'll put it in the chat in case, uh, since we're ending right now. Uh, but I believe this is the, the link to my YouTube video for the top five. Um, and then if you have yet to, and you are interested in joining into my discord server for the game, want to talk the game talk shop. Uh, a lot of the people that are in the chat here tonight already are already part of the discord channel. And that's a link to come in there. Um, you can see, um, miss Stacy. So I talked about her build in, in the video there. So definitely check out, uh, uh, that. And if, you know, for the next little bit, I'm going to be up before I go to bed. So if you want to continue the chat on the Discord, uh, uh, that is where I will be probably for the next half an hour or so. And then I'm going to hit hit the bed. I'll make the video tomorrow for the bargain bin. But I appreciate everybody, like, giving me some good ideas for the bargain bin, um, for helping me uh, uh, put this all together. So this, is, this has been really good. I appreciate you all again for sticking through it. Uh, not that it was, uh, you know, tedious or anything like that. That's not what I meant, but I appreciate you just hanging out with me. Um, win a boss with Miz today for the event. That's a good reminder. I almost forgot about that. Um, so for y'all, thanks ASG for the reminder there. Um, if you haven't done it, we have, uh, in our competitions, the six star, Evolution. So if you do have the Miz, um, go ahead and get yourself that easy 3,000 points right there. Um, basically on a week-to-week -week basis, um, evolving at least one six-star bronze will get you to the, the second-to-last node. And if you complete everything else, if you can complete everything else, you should be able to get close, if not fully max this out on a week-to-week -week basis. And that's actually becoming more and more important if getting MLC points is difficult because there are MLC points all the way down. If you do max this out, um, it has some actually pretty good resources to work with. So each week we are looking at, how many is it? It says it right. If you also didn't know this, um, contest points and how many you can earn are here and how many you've earned. So I've earned zero of the 13,000 or so that are in this um, each week. You know, each week. So 
for the four weeks, that might be the difference between you making it and not making it. So something something to think about. But uh, appreciate the shout-outs, ASG. Um, and everybody else, uh, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Appreciate you coming out. Um, today is Monday, where I am, uh, in the Eastern Standard Time. But uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I will be back online streaming. So... Um, hopefully I'll see y'all then, uh, have yourself uh, a good one again and we'll talk soon. Class is over. See y'all later.